okay i oh, just wait a minute though let's wait for people to come on hello everyone Let's wait for people to jump into the stream. Hi, everyone. Hello. Can you hear me in the chat? There's actually a lawnmower going fairly close to us, which should stop <laughs> soon-ish. See the chat. Okay. Hi, everyone. I think you can see the chat in there. Let me know if you can hear me as you come on in. I'm Lynn from Cavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue, and we've got quite a few things to update you with today uh, in terms of what we've been doing here at Cavi Central. There has been a lot going on. So we've been fairly quiet in social media. We've put quite a few videos out, but in terms of live streams, we've been quiet. We've actually held adoption days for each of the last three Sundays, I think, yes, each and one was a Saturday. So we've been busy with that. But the weather has been a bit hit and miss and a few other things occurring that have made it not worthwhile actually doing the live stream. So just uh, we felt it would be a little bit too dull if I'm doing hands on work. Hi, Robert. How are you? Oh, excellent. That's great. Excellent. Well, we're just going to do a health check here. Um, Actually, I might get Suzanne to come over and say a quick hi first while I go pull out two other guinea pigs that we need here, and then we'll get underway with some health checks. Okay, so. Hello, everyone. I'm Suzanne, and this is my pixel guinea pig, Maisie. And um, we lost her buddy, Zoddy, six weeks ago, I think it was. We tried it with another one, Queenie, and <laughs> I learned it didn't work. But Queenie is now here with a group of five. So there's a total of five in there, four with her, and she's so happy. She's really happy. So we're going to see if Miss Maisie can get along with one of the, the lab girls or one of the other older girls. She actually, this girl needs a haircut. Stay this with her. Can you see? Hold on. Oh, you can. She might be better if I took the dark towel away. That's a bit better. Her fur will grow as big as a basketball. And she absolutely hates it because it snags on things. So, we are lucky today with the weather. It's the last week of winter. We're heading into spring next week. And um, we've had on and off showers, no nasty rain like we have had. A few cold nights. For Sydney, getting down to under five degrees Celsius is cold for us. For you, that's your life at that. Lynn's just putting out a couple more. There's one fellow being picked up today who's been here getting treatment for a while and he's now well enough to go home, which is great. I'm going to turn around and face, face the camera. Yep. Oh, did you leave the, you leave the red cloth on there? Yeah, it was just, you can't see her against the red oh, cloth. Well, it doesn't fade out. It's just, it's just, it's just plain paper. And that way your little claws won't get caught. And you stand up. So I hope everyone's been well. Um, I was out of action for another three weeks. I, I caught a very simple cold and couldn't shake it. I just hung on and hung on and hung on. And I'd get frustrated and go and do some gardening. And then I'd get a sore throat again. I shouldn't, unfortunately. But winter is the season to do gardening work. Because in um, you know a cold winter's day here is 17 degrees Celsius. Uh, cold night is three degrees Celsius for winter. But then our summers are horrible. You know, I had no idea China's got the worst heat wave that's ever hit it. It's been at 70 days of record 
freaking heat. The factories are closed down and they've got shipment problems and supply issues. So wishing everyone in China to stay safe. Run a little tub of water and put your feet in it. <laughs> it helps. Doesn't help all the animals outside though. Kisses. Don't take off the table, Pussy. Don't take them off. No. Yeah. When Maisie came in two and a half years ago with her sister, they were um, mites and fungal and furless and scrawny and her sister had a big sore on her shoulder and they were, they were just terrified. Now I've got this super calm girl. Apart from when I put Queenie anywhere near her. <laughs> It might be the fact that Queenie chatters non-stop, this little high-pitched titter chatter. I don't think this little quiet girl understood that that was just her normal chitter chatter. So the teeth chattering started and then got returned in kind and I ended up with this thing biting me. <laughs> Yes, I did. That hurt. But Queenie didn't get bitten, but I jumped, you fell. We came here for the night with Lynn. We don't know what that one thing was in her throat. What's that? Um, you can have respiratory that sounds like it's there and then goes away. So you can have sort of borderline. Okay, because it was cases that so high. Anyway, it, it got yeah. better. Her weight has stabilized at about 90 grams under what it was when uh, Zuri was alive. Okay, so she went through a period of mourning yeah. and lost some, but she's now stabilised. Good, good, good. She's, she's, you pick her up, she's still a good weight. Hello, Miss Maisie. How are you? Hi. Yeah, she does feel lighter, doesn't she? Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. She's not scary yeah. light and it's, it's stabilised. Yeah. So, hello. Whoopsie, was that, eh? Hmm. Oh, she's so happy with that. Yeah, under her jaw. Might have a look at your back molars a bit later. Okay, see how that they're doing. Yeah, check that out. Could relate to the weight as well, so we'll check you out later. Thank you. She's gorgeous. She's we love Miss Maisie. I'll set up another <laughs> pen for the adoption meet and greets. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. Come on down. Come on down. We've got some piggies we're going to check. Um, so, who have we got? Cucumber. Is that cucumber at the front? Yes, he has the big red one. Okay. Yeah. Did you want to grab them out? Yeah, that's fine. That yeah. Yeah. Oh, let me get a corner. Yeah. So what's going on with cucumber? So, um, Let's put you back here. The other day, yeah. uh, I woke up, woke them up in the morning. Oh, that's the red one. Yeah. Um, okay. And I noticed a uh, She's spot the white on one. the top. Yes, yeah. the white one. Spot on the top of her back. Okay. Very yeah, it's very hairless, isn't it? Um, checked her out. Not very happy about it. Oh, okay. Um, oh, and it was it was quite nice. like scabby still. Yeah. Um, okay. and so I had a look at sort of. Let's look at you here. Hello. Thought it might Hello. be um a parasite or something. So here, yeah. all of this has shown up here. Yeah. It, it popped okay. up in the morning. No, right. no other problem. Okay. And then it popped up in the morning. Yeah. And so I gave them, they were due for their ivermectin about in a week. Okay. So I gave you it gave it to her early. Yeah. How much did you give her? Um, I think it was, uh, she said on the thing last year, 0.2. 0 .2. Yeah, she's a bigger girl. I'd yeah, probably I'd, go 0.3, 0.4 yeah. on her. Yeah, okay. she's very, I was also yeah. curious, she's very big. Yeah. Is that, she's just a bigger She's just a bigger guinea pig, yeah. Because I'm, I'm thinking, it. everyone's really small. Yeah, no like, <laughs> really big. Yeah, girl. no we get, yeah. Um, oh, I don't remember. It's amazing because we have um, 
The biggest we've had here is 1.8, and we've just recently had another 1.8 piggy in yeah. um, that came in for some help. But it, it's interesting because in America, like you get them two, two and a half kilos. Oh. So they're way, way bigger than what oh, we okay. get. And we can have adult piggies that are also seven and 800 grams yeah. and perfectly healthy. So a lot of vets would say, oh, no, that's too too light but when you actually look at their length head to tail mm. they're actually a really little guinea pig very long. so yeah she's she's very long and for her she could even get heavier than that okay. like she could easily fill out here and become a 1.2 1.3 piggy for sure okay. yeah so oh, yeah i would just um with this we would yeah. bath her okay. uh, it's definitely mite related yeah. and yeah, there's dry skin in there, which is just fungal on the skin surface. So we'll just give her a bath in Malaseb and we'll reapply. When did you do the Ivermec? Um, I think my calendar. Like a few days ago. Yeah, was it, was it a good, well, It's about seven days ago. That's fine. Okay. Even four or five days. We can still redo for her. No issues. Wednesday. Oh, okay. So. Yep, that's fine. Well, we will redo with a bigger dose and okay. then she'll need to have that bigger dose repeated but i'd leave it a good seven to eight days okay. we usually do it seven but because she's already had sort of a, a smaller dose can be a little bit longer and to get in her system yeah was one um her ears go red mm -hmm. is that just because she's a little hot um the ears actually have loads of blood vessels mm. in them yeah. masses of blood vessels but they go from like different colors really so i was mm. there's sometimes when i'm like um uh she's usually quite pale like quite white ears and yeah and the black and white spots and sometimes they go quite pink okay and so i, I was interested if that it's been well it's just reason. blood flow mm -hmm. so when they're colder um what happens is more blood flow goes around your vital organs mm -hmm. so if the temperature's cooler and drops your your blood flow actually stays more around your brain and core mm -hmm. organs to keep them functioning mm -hmm. and that's why when we get cold, we notice our fingers get colder and our nose gets cold because the blood flow actually goes back yes. to the vital organs. When you're warmer, it goes the other way because they're actually wanting to disperse yeah. so temperature and it goes to the ears. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I, I thought, I thought yeah. so, but I just wanted to double check. Yeah, and so that's also, all. Mm -hmm. uh, nails. Yep. I have had a very difficult time. <laughs> Cutting um, nails. Crying. They are really long at the moment. Okay. Very Ooh, up. She's got a big bump here. You oh. notice that? Oh, no. She's got a really big bump. Oh, God. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Yeah, she does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's actually substantial in size. When did we last see these girls? Um, when did we last see her? Uh, two months ago? Yeah. 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 yeah, she's developed a lump. It's actually, it, it's, um, has there been any fighting or anything argy bargy between them? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. They're okay. not very happy with each other. Right, okay. The reason I ask that is that this is actually very close to her little booby here yeah. but typically mammary tumors are underneath and they also have like an, an extended oh, sorry you're just feeling here darling that's it they have an extended sort of attached area and this one doesn't okay. it's very pea-sized and it's it's under oh, it's very difficult to hold you there sweetie yeah, hold on just, here we go oh, no. um it's i can feel right yeah. around it it's actually on the surface just underneath the skin so you can do the same thing i'll hold you there's a, maybe a little, yeah, there is a little bit there actually. It's underneath. Yeah, but have a look. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. very pea size. Yeah, it's a pea, but it's very round, um, which also the symmetry of it is more like when they get a nip or a bite, the colouring as well. It's actually very yellowing. See that? You can actually see the colouring of it through the skin there. Oh, okay. So that sort of indicates lack of blood flow oh. to it, like more 
more of what we'd get with an abscess. So, um, so she's got something going on there. Um, we can actually see what that is, see if it's pus and if it will drain. Um, my feeling with that, normally when it's in that area, we would just say go in and get it removed. Just um, get that removed with the vet because it's typically in the mammary area. But this one's a little bit different because it is very pea-sized, but it's also, yeah, just looking at the, the colouring. Yeah, interesting. So we could easily aspirate that or you could just opt to go and get that taken out and removed, whichever you prefer. But we'll give her a bath now and get this skin condition treated and then go from Water there. there. Yeah. So you wouldn't have known it was there. Yeah, it's just that it's okay. she in particular is not yep. a fan of being cut okay. at all. And so I, I feel really bad right. having to pick her up because then for, for like a day or two afterwards she'll just be very jumpy and I like... Has that been a recent it. thing? Um, no, that's No, just, it's always yeah. been how she is. Yeah, okay. they've all improved but yep. like when I'm touching them then she'll just not be happy with me for a couple of days. Yep. Ah, ah, ah. Sit still. <laughs> Just like wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And this it's is okay. the other problem with the nails. Is, although it's not easy for me as well, is they don't, they're not ready to let it happen. Yeah, those, those side ones have held a lot. Having little system. clippers like this is really helpful because you can actually just get the clipper exactly where it needs to be. Whereas if you're using human clippers, you can't sort of I manipulate do. I have them. I that's similar to that. Yep. So I just... Well, you can see how I'm doing it there, just moving them around, like yeah. angling it around different, different ways. She's got a little spur there. Just use a little pair of scissors. You don't need little spur just developing it's not much of it there so you just literally Is that just a fair skin? yeah it will grow into what looks like a nail okay. and curl around the foot where they've taken them off the foot <laughs> sorry she's not wanting to pull it out that's okay leave it there for now sweet let's get your foot down let's do this one hey get there Right. You're not running off. Just sit there. There's a lot of noise going on as well with mowing and other yeah, things. That's as well. not very helpful. Yeah. Let's there. There we go. All right. Let's have a look at. So she's the one you're worried about the yeah. most. What's going on here? Obviously, because she was probably going to my something I was worried about the others as well. Yeah. And they all needed to the, Well, um, now we've got that through. problem. Yeah, you've got a little lump to deal with there. How old is this little one? Um, they were they were two to three when I got them. When you got them, yeah. So they weren't too short. Okay. I have a feeling um the two brown ones are maybe younger. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I actually think she's she's definitely showing that age. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, this on. one is also very clumpy. Yeah. Like very, in what way? Like sometimes trips over a lot or um I don't, I don't know how to Wait a minute. It's okay. Hold on. Hold um, on. Hold on. Yeah. Um it just seems like a little bit 
you it was on, on the feet sometimes and I thought yeah. that might be something I can bring up as well if that's okay. something to be concerned about a little bit. We'll watch her as she moves around. She's got, she actually has a bit of a muscle pull here. Oh. It's a tighter muscle than on this leg here. And if you, if I hold it this way, you'll be able to feel it. Put your hands on both feet, both feet. So two hands. Oh. Okay, now put them down at the ankle. Oh, Feel yes. the difference? Yes. So she's actually got that going on. That would make sense. And yeah. that might be why she is doing that, but it's definitely here in the groin. So it's not a bone issue, but she's definitely had something pulled or, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> do you want to feel it? Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's what's going on there. Um, she's certainly active enough here, like she's not showing any pain issues. So I'll make sure I get those. Yeah, can I have this for it? Come here. Just wrap her this way. Come here. Is that better? All right, come here. It's okay. It's okay. Sit there. That's it. Sit there. She just wants to hide. Yeah. She's, you can do this. She's just wanting to hide away. And that's all. So it's not looking at loose. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. And if you do the, the V wrap that we use, that method, yeah. it'll work perfectly for her because she likes to be just feeling safe. Yeah. And like, like this, you can easily do it. So you just make her feel safe and comfy and then you can take your time and do what you need to like this. Good move? Is that okay? All right. So yeah, little piggies like this. She's just feeling a little bit delicate. But yeah, she's got that issue on her back rear foot just to monitor that. Yeah. What do you uh, nothing at the moment. We'll watch her walking on the grass. We'll pop her up into a pin while I bump this collar up. You must be the fruit here. Okay. Is this Q-Man? Yes. And that was a pretty short. We've been doing these. Oh, there's one long one there. Yeah, I've attempted to do yeah, a couple. And there's some a few that I just done. haven't been able to get to at all. Okay. So, yeah. This one is. Yep. Yeah. Come here. There you go. Right. It's just such an easy way to do it like this. It's very similar to the V wrap. But and always squeeze before you cut. Yes. Always, always. I did watch a lot of videos before I attempted multiple times. Yeah. A lot of it is sort of working with piggies and you you get yeah. to read them very quickly how their behaviour is, like they're a little bit nervous and the noise and everything else. So hello, hi, hi there, come here, just want to have a feel of you, it's okay, it's alright, just want to have a feel of you. Her leg is fine, can you see this? Can you do this one? Come on, come down here. Hide there. Hide there. Hide there. Hide there. And a towel, something to make a V shape out of. Cloth, a fine cloth is better, like this is almost too thick. A tea towel is better, a pillowcase is much better. I know. She's like, what are you doing now? And then when they're perfectly straight, they can be cradle supported.
This is where the thinner cloth makes a bit of a difference. You've only got two to go. Done. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Come on. There she is. There she is. Hi. Well done. It's the game. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to get some water. Ah. I'm going to get white one. And if you'd like to put the other two down onto some grass somewhere over there, we'll get you a, a little cover that you can put them under. Um, let me get that. It's okay. You're doing so good. You put them in under this. Maybe here in the tea bag. Okay, so hi everyone, just back again. Um, if you have any questions, pop them into the chat. There's so many of you here. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, thanks, Marsha. Marsha, we haven't spoken in ages. We've had adoption days, I was saying it at the start, we've had adoption days each weekend, but we've been really low on volunteers and I've had a lot of hands on so we felt it might be really a little bit dull here on the YouTube side so we haven't gone live but there's other things have been going on in um, in the background and lots of rescues and stories to share with you lots of videos as well and um, yeah so we will get to that I'm just going to go and grab some water and then we'll bath this piggy you can watch how I do that and if you do have questions pop them up Okay, I'll be right back. Put this down here. You can see that a bit better.
Okay, let's get your little white girl up here. Sorry. 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 Bar from the rescue. I think it's still in the rescue. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't you can do it. <laughs> I am here. Okay, where is she? She's in here. Okay, so is she used to having a bath? No, we have a bath yet. Oh, okay. It's been, a, it's been very cold. Oh, okay, it has actually. So, That's right. so we bath from the ears down. When she gets used to it, we can put her little feet in. I'm just dampening her down. You can, you can actually see this naked patch here. So when you have an area like that forming on guinea pigs, there's two things that can cause this. Well, actually, there's three. One, and I have seen this once, which is a product that burnt a, a guinea pig skin. The guinea pig was surrendered. But in all the area that the product was, the skin burnt off and it did not return. Now, in this case, uh, this guinea pig's already been treated for mites. And there's actually an already velvet feel there. So, hold on, sweetie. Velvet? Just panicking her a little bit. Yeah, if you feel it with your fingers, you can actually feel little tiny hairs that are already there. Oh, okay. And that's because they've had Ivermec on them, but just not enough. Okay. So, for her, all we need to do is treat her also with an antifungal because there was some flaky whiteness on there. Now, this is where a lot of people will say, why does one guinea pig show it and not the others? It's immunity. It's always related to what's going on with the health of the one guinea pig. It could be being bullied. It could be being um, finding it difficult to feed. It could be socially not being accepted. It could have an injury. It could have bumblefoot. Like there's a numerous numbers of things, problems that could occur why other guinea pigs and why it also struggles. Now, in her case, she's got that lump that we've discovered. So her immunity is at play. Yeah, because she was, the, she was yeah. the most dominant one always. Oh, okay. And, and that's then, changed. Um, oh, sorry. Recently, your face now. nutmeg with the white spot has yep. sort of started okay. being a little yep. green. Um, yeah. It's calmed down a lot in the last, like, month. Yep. But that's, Good that's girl. probably... Got something to do with it then yeah so i'm using um maliseb here which is the product we use here in australia it's brilliant 
you can hold that one up in front of her if you like so people can see that right there so we've used that for like 20 years um, there's a there's a whole range of different products you can use but this is another interesting one for mites if you have a look at this piggy now all piggies have naked spaces behind their ears but what I want you to notice is the color dis the discoloration see that red line around the edge oh see how it's pinker going into the hair area that's because she's got irritation in her coat and again it's just mite related but things like that just show up when piggies are white you can see that more stand out and when they get a full blown case of mange their skin feels like it's on fire which is why we bath in really tepid water whereas hers is nice and comfortably warm well, you can put your finger in there. Has arrived. oh okay can we hello so we can pop them down into a pen that little group thank you are you able to take down their names on the yes yeah. I'll just do this. Suzanne. Um, do you want the towel no no i'll just put her in here for now sorry pen or a lid? no a pen a, an actual brass pen i think so they can move around and we'll assess them when they come in just got a big grip that's just coming in yeah so when you've got guinea pigs with white fur you can actually notice that little pink line showing up and it's just to do with irritation on the skin again it's just all mite related so i'm just gonna bath her treat her and her hair will regrow roughly 10 days you'll start to see a really nice covering by then but yeah it's just immunity related and for her it's, 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 um, it's just immunity and she's got that lump that has so formed. you think the other two will be fine yes yeah we'll just treat them with argonic absolutely fine their immunity is doing okay so that will be sufficient you're doing so good Actually, we'll do the three together so she can go over with her buddies. Yeah. Now, actually, with the with the washing that I've just done there, the Malaseb went on. It's used like a shampoo and then lightly rinsed with the water that it's in. She doesn't get rinsed off. There's no rinsing off. So it needs to stay in this really fine layer on the skin, um, which is perfectly acceptable. The other thing is not to do anything like blow drying. People often use a blow dryer or a hair dryer if it's cold and they think they, but that actually deactivates the product. So you don't ever blow dry them if you've used an antifungal. So there we go. She can go for some puddles and, and then over there to have some grass. If she's got that to snuggle up into, she'll be fine. Okay. So may have her back in a minute not sure so um i am just going to vanish and take we've got um, some piggies coming in we'll go and have a look at them hi laura sarah burn the rest hello 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 right Actually, I might just bring you over Seymour because he needs some food. Let's do Seymour first. Suzanne's got the other rescue. I'll take you to the other rescue in a minute. They're just coming in. Okay, hold on. Let's move that one off. How are they doing? Well, we're all done. So we'll put the Ivermec on them in a minute. I'm just going to quickly feed Seymour. Um, 
just wanted to show YouTube. This is Critical Care Gold Blend. Now you can make your own critical care, but critical care is something that it's convenient if it's already made. So you can either make your own. We've got our own to make here, but this particular one is a gold blend. Now what it means is it's super, super fine and you can use with any syringe very easily without having to adjust the tip or cut it off so that the thicker substance can actually go through. Now this piggy that we're going to look at, there will be a video on Seymour and all that he's been through, but I'm going to bring him up so you can see him now. Okay, in here is Seymour hiding away. And Seymour, come here, come on. Come on, do you want some food? Come here, little fellow, we'll change your bed as well because I've just pulled you out. Seymour came in with a massive abscess underneath here that was drained and then um, treated and then... Um, I'll discuss this in the video, but essentially he was a piggy that needed to have dental care. So he's had a full dental and he's been nursed. He's now eating well, but he's also getting supplement feeds with critical care, which he loves. You want this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you can actually watch. Kind of, I think you can see him there. He absolutely loves his critical care. So this is now at the stage where it is just helping him it's assisting him because he loves it it's an easy way to increase his nutrient load sorry yes. uh yeah this way. <laughs> sorry oh okay yeah and um it's a great way to increase their nutrient load without a lot of energy and at the same time he can then pick and choose his own food and eat it so he's fully eating now which is great he had his surgery on Wednesday, which was wonderful. And it was actually Windsor Vet who took care of that for him. So we thank them very much. Because he's now doing really well. So if your guinea pig is dropping weight, that's one of the first signs that dental could be an issue. And we've got a video as well on teeth. Um, I may redo that video actually because I think the the images didn't or the images showed up but not the video something like that we may redo it but the content is fantastic if you listen to it because it goes through what can be a potential issue and what is not as he gobbles his food and you can see each time he comes up to get more that's when I press on the syringe you don't ever force feed a guinea pig so if I touch his lip like this, he says, oh, yeah, I want more. So that's when I give him more in his mouth. Really important you feed in this way. If you feed a guinea pig that doesn't want food, they may not be able to swallow and they can run the risk of then breathing it in, which is called aspiration. And usually that results in death. He's having about 15 mils of food. And he would typically take around 70 mils in a day, this boy. But now he does around two supplement feeds a day because he's eating well. And then as soon as his, his weight starts to increase at a considerable pace, that's when we stop these feeds because he's fully eating well. Yum, yum, yum. 
is loving that. Added to this is a bit of puree and it's um, carrot and apple puree, baby puree. A bit more, Seymour? A bit more. Okay. He's super cute, isn't he? Now, he does need a bath, but because of the big abscess that was cleaned out, and the work that was done, he came, he came back with quite a bit caught through his hair. I'm not going to do any bathing with him till he's fully better. So that's perfectly fine. We've just wiped everything off with an antiseptic. But he needs a proper bath later. But that's not so important right now. There we go. Now you can see he'd easily take more, which if this were a feed that was necessary, I would actually give him a break and a pat and look after him. But now because he's actually fully eating, I will put him down because he's actually had a substantial feed, but he can then top off with fresh food himself. Can't you see more? Yeah, you want to come out? Yeah. Oh, super, super cute. We'll get you out a bit later. Um, when guinea pigs are also in recovery mode, it's important that they have housing like this, where they can stay warm and cozy and you provide them with other things like um, heat stones or uh, something to ensure the room is at a certain temperature because often they don't thermoregulate. So at the time of his surgery, he was a very sick little boy. And the video will show you that. But now he doesn't need that, but he just simply runs in there if he wants to. So giving them support in lots of ways. We've also got a video on hospital cages and how to set them up. That's what he has had. And um, yeah, here we are. It's RO is Sunday. So Wednesday was his surgery. He was pretty sick. And uh, yeah, he's doing really well. Yeah, he started eating on Friday himself. So it took a few days of supplement feeding, supplement feeding in that time. Okay, come on, we'll put you back. So, all right, let's ivermec your piggies and then they're good to go. Sorry? have got good mowers at least. <laughs> yeah, they keep it down a bit, don't they? Yeah. But not enough. Oh. That's for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I come over there and I will do that. We're just going to overmake them. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got 
can pay it. You've got to pay it. Thank you. Now I am make sure I don't put point three all over the back of the screen. And then a third round next yes. week if you do next week. On all of them? Yeah, we'll do all of them. Because even though she's more um, affected by them at the moment, they are on the not to the same degree and then this little lump yes the size of the tree to go back to the tree yeah. she's very good at hiding it yeah and then we have to work out what the next step is yeah so let's put that on here i'm not sure if it will get on All right, come here. So close to the center. How long do you think it's been there? How much uh, of the size of it? Oh, it's, it's, well, generally it takes months for little tumors to develop. Mm -hmm. If this is a tumor, certainly feel just round more like an abscess and they can get little abscesses here from bites from this but given she's more affected by mites I'd sort of err on the side of getting this surgically removed I think that would be the safest way to get that done the process of removal is really quite quite easy we could we could actually numb that down and just see if it is pus, yeah. which if we check that now, then you know it is an abscess. Um, alternately, just go straight for the surgery. So, which is your oh, option? I mean, if it's something we can just check later. Yeah, we can do it here. So we would just numb that down completely. And then I would just use a small needle to aspirate and see if it's actually pus. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. it's always right. good to check at least. All right. Um, well, let's do that. Let's give that a chance to dry on her. And I'll just go and get what we need. And we'll do that here. Um, we might use that, I think. I was also wondering, I was yep. um, trying to get in contact with the Norfolk Twins vet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Michelle, yeah. Um, do you have any vets around that you personally really like? Oh, North Richmond Vet actually did the surgery on Seymour okay. the other day. So, so we have a lot of vets that we use. Yeah, yeah. where do you live? Um, Hills area, Stanhope Gardens. Oh, that would be very close for you then. That would be very close. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's um, Normanhurst Vet that are very close to us here as well. But for you, distance-wise... Yeah. It's it's thirty minutes away from me, and this is like thirty minutes. Yeah, away, you'd be so sort of in between both, yeah. really. Um, but yeah, both of those really good. Um, Hornsby really good. Um, we often 
go different places depending on what the issue is. And in, let's just take a look and see if that is actually infection or not. We had a girl in um, 10 days ago, actually. Oh, no, not that long ago, maybe a week ago, last weekend. Time's flying. <laughs> Time's going too quick. But, yeah, only a week ago. Um, and she came in because she had a, well, the whole group came up because of mange on one piggy. So we checked them all, treated a few of them did what was needing to be done and I picked up this lump which was underneath her abdomen very close to this one but just a little bit higher but it was a bite wound a bite infection and she actually had two abscesses in there that needed to be drained she's coming up a bit later today just to get it checked but it was an abscess in that area yeah so we'll just use a, a syringe and we'll just see see what that is and um, go from there if it's not you just need to get that removed surgically okay I just know this camera said they didn't have a good camera for that, so I thought I'd ask. Use this one here. This is a little bit more padding. 
the holding head. He's got some in here. Look at him. Here somewhere. I thought I had them out there. Here's yeah, this one actually. Okay, so with her, we just got numb down that area and then. You can just hold your hands on her. Do you want to get her out for me? That'd be great. Come here, little girl. I'm get you to sit here. Okay. A bit tricky in this location. Yeah, if you go back around that way, it should be fine. Okay. Just gonna hold you there for a minute. You can take the top off that for me, please. No. Yeah, just don't talk. <laughs> Talking just adds to more going on. Get the angle that's on is it very nice.
Okay, can you just keep your hands on her calmly there? Yeah, let's get this on. Ah. Come on first, she can go. Yeah, can you open those out? Thanks. <laughs> Thanking you. There you go. Make sure. So that's just under the surface there. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, it's not looking like a fuss. This one kind of takes forever. Okay. She's feeling okay. <laughs> Give me about too much. I broke the surface of it. It's not pus coming out. So I'm happy with that. But what we need to do is get that removed. Yeah, just to get that out. Michelle can take that out. Um, because it's in the abdominal area, it's not like a sebaceous cyst, and you really need sebaceous? to have you, yeah. Let, let go. You, it's not like a sebaceous cyst where we can treat them and um, and remove them. In that location, it's better if the animal is sedated mm -hmm. because they're they're vital upside area. down. Yes. It's in a vital area. You don't want them moving in that area. You want to do it very so very a, carefully. It's yeah, it's a little bit more, but um, it, it's worth it to get it out and removed because it is very close to the nipple, so it could be a mammary tumour. There's no attachment in underneath, but I think she'd easily remove that very quickly. That's like very fast surgery, but um, still requires an anaesthetic for that one. What sort of recovery is that? Oh, literally, she'll be fine right after. It won't affect her eating or moving. She can go straight back with the others. Um, the stitches are usually dissolvable, so you won't have removable stitches. There should be no further treatment needed. Yeah. So, yeah, at least we've confirmed that it's not pus that's there. And, yeah, because of that, it's, it's yeah, it's narrowed it down as to what to do. Hello. Thank you so Hello. much. Any home? <laughs> Come on. A bit of nibble first. Into nibble? Into nibble? Into nibble? No. She says no. <laughs> she likes capsicum. Oh, yes. Yeah. There we go. All right. So yeah, it narrows it down. Which is good. Yeah, so if you, yeah, we can speak later about it, but definitely book her in with that. Okay. And, um, Thank you so much. We'll get that removed. A lifesaver. Yeah. It's okay. Awesome. Um, it's good to see you again. Yes, it is. We'll see you um, probably sometime soon again. That's okay. Get them checked up again. <laughs> in a, in a few months. months. So yeah, um, Call me later on and we'll, we'll have a further chat okay. about that. Okay. Um, but, yeah, that, it's a simple process to get that out. And we usually see them a lot bigger okay. than that. So that's sort of... So it's very early sign. stages. Very good sign, awesome. yeah. Definitely, but, yeah. Glad it's been picked up now. Definitely. Yes, that's, that's very nice. That's excellent. That's great. We'll have to go and say hi and yes, help. I think we've got on. two lots... Here, but thank you. Oh, thank you. Here we get to. Is he not? Is... Yeah, they just come to get a drink. Oh, so okay, right. Okay. That's You're okay. I'll so say a quick hi up here. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, Wadine. Hi, Jay. Hello. Hello, hello. I know. Absolutely, what a cutie. Yeah, so that's a little tumor that needs to be removed. It's um. There's no potential for it to be a sebaceous cyst in that location. Guinea pigs don't get sebaceous cysts right there on the undersides. It's not a sebaceous cyst. Um, an abscess is what we were looking to check if it was infection-based, but there was no break on the top surface of the skin, but the colour of it, a little bit yellow, was worth checking to see, and it's not. So, hi, V Baker. Oh, Las Vegas. Okay. Jay, have you lost a piggy? It must be earlier in the thread. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So you're not sure what happened? 
Mm. They can go downhill very, very quickly. I know, Marsha, isn't Seymour cute? He's adorable. He loves his critical care. He does. Aloha, Laura. Um, yeah, he absolutely loves his critical care and um, he's done really well. So the process with him was that he had lost a lot of weight. He had a big abscess, um, which, and I discussed it in the video. You'll see a full, a full talk on this because I think it's important for people to identify about lumps and bumps in this area what the probable cause is and what is likely and how you can rule it out a bit like what we've just done now in ruling out it's an abscess it's not so um it's important to know what you're doing there but again i'll walk you through with seymour what it is and why it is a dental a dental issue like we've got a lot of videos on abscesses that don't require dental and that's usually where they've had a bite or an infection or um, they've perforated the skin in some way and it's led to infection, which is an abscess. Um, the other form of abscess can occur when there's dental issues. So knowing the difference when, when one is involved or not is, is important. So with Seymour, he had an abscess which needed to be treated and has been. And uh, then he required dental surgery. And the, first, the reason we did it, he actually came in on Tuesday, we treated that abscess to relieve the pressure, which is very painful. And I think it's a bit like maybe a pimple that, you know, an enormous pimple that we would have or an, for anyone that's ever had an abscess. It's very, very painful until it ruptures. But once the pressure goes, they feel immense relief. So so part of that was to, to get him immediately onto antibiotics, relieve that pressure, and then he was straight in the next day for dental surgery. Uh, he had his rear teeth going in, in various directions. In fact, I may have a photo here I can show you. Let me see. I think I do. Where do I do? Where do I do? Um, yes, here we go. All right, so this, this is his little mouth. And so this was on Tuesday night. But can you see that tooth in the background there? That's way over and large. And see how his front teeth are not even. But it's the, the biggest issue was really with the rear teeth because they have 20 teeth in there. Oh, it's gone off. But um, there. Woo, I'll put it in the back. So you can see that. So that was Seymour's little mouth, which of course is now much better. And now he's had his dental on Wednesday. When they have that and they have extensive work, a lot of people think that it's a bit like us. We have our teeth dealt with and a few hours later we should be eating and fine. But the reality is we're not or they're not. They need help with that. And in his case, it was a good two and a half days till he started eating on his own. So he didn't even want to do that. He had to have pain relief and he had quite a bit of work done, but um, that's the process that was undertaken. Okay. We okay. have two for this for adoption. Oh, really? We have sex male. Oh, okay. Little. Who have we found? Oh, this little lady. She's going to a new home. Now, She's gorgeous. What the people like to do is yep. zoom off and buy stuff from... Okay. Pet stock. Yes. But if we've got stock here, like bottles that we can sell them they yes the money go to us that's yeah we do have some of them here we have a few bits and pieces oh, yeah come and have a chat with us definitely <laughs> that's okay so I'll, I'll do the ivermectin and show you how to do it because it's would you like to do it on the table here and oh, i'll swap right. you out you can there's a couple of syringes there that let me get you a new cloth uh, uh yes yes right. they can come down please and you can have them. Yes. There. These syringes are ready for here. Oh, they're, they're, done. they're, they're done. done. So there's two of them loaded there, ready to go. Okay. So. We've had a lovely family come in and they're adopting two guinea pigs. So we're going to ivermectin them before they head off. That's because that's what we do. Now, with ivermectin, it kills the adult mites, but not the eggs. So you wait seven days and then you ivermectin them again because the eggs have hatched, but 
but they're not old enough to lay eggs. So if we do it today, which we will, you then need to do it again in seven days. And then in three months. So then it's just a three month so leave. three dogs, one today, one seven days. So one dose today mm -hmm. of 0.2 of a mil. Now this is a one mil syringe that we've loaded up already. So I know how much to, to put out and it's very easy. On the back of the ear is a bald spot. Put it on. And you put it on. So 0.1 per ear. Don't touch that for 20 minutes and it's done. That's it. That's easy. So, yes. Now, do you have a carrier to take them home in? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh, Lynn has carriers that we will be able to sell you. So, yeah, just don't take off. You are so beautiful. You a bit of grass? You've been on the grass, haven't you? You don't care. You don't care. Oh, so there we go. Okay, now we'll, do, we'll go and get the boy. Look out. So you can continue to give her a cuddle. <laughs> and go and get the, the male. Lynn's disappeared in to do something. Uh, I think I might need a cuddle sack just to do you because I don't want you running away. Because I do not want you running off the table. In. Put your legs down, mate. There you go. Now, I've got much more control of him. He, he can't run away, but I'm not hurting. Oh, a carrier and a water bottle. And this bottle, I'll just give this to you. We've used it once, but it's a really good one. And just attach it with this, which to your cage where you want it to go. You just put that round twist, put your bottle in, like where you want it to sit, and then twist round so that you get, you'll see what I mean. When you twist it the other side, then it'll sit like that. So you can just lift it in, you just move it, wiggle it, take it out. Maybe I need to glue something because my cage is not really large. Which sort is it? It's, what, it's like that one about. Oh, so okay. I need something to hang on this small. So it's all a sort of so, a solid box yeah, side. Yeah, it's a solid box. Okay. Yeah. They, they can have a water bowl. Yeah. You just put a water bowl in there for now. Um, in that case, you might be better going to find one of those yeah, in the interim. Be yeah, because I think I that, can't see from No, because that's how you have to hatch it. Yeah. yeah. You can you buy it. water bottles on a stand that I, I have mm -hmm. seen. Yeah. So, but, I mean, again, not here. No, so, no, 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 that's, that's right. So you have that's to find right. it. Yep. You, there, there are yeah. options for water yeah. bottles in a cage that doesn't yeah. have wire that you can clip on. And then puddle socks like you're holding. Yeah. Yep. So oh, you found two of those? found two. So I'm just going to do. Does this guy have a name? This yes, he does. Guy. He does. Because um, he's Mocha. the father of. I think he's Mocha. Oh, Mocha! That he's the father of the big group of twelve that came in. <laughs> so that's him. He's gorgeous. That's right. Yes, there he's was a 12, real character. Twelve, including yeah. the, the adults, <laughs> and eight babies. And there's some videos on him. He wasn't that old when he came in. Probably ten months, eleven months. Um, he's definitely a year old now. Yeah. One year old. Enough. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And the female one, the yes. black one. Yes. Now she's two. She'd be sure. two because she's from the laboratory. Yes. So okay. she's a lab release girl. So she's two. 
we can get her exact date off the details because she is one of the lab releases and the last lab release was in June. So a couple of months, yeah. But you know, because we're August now. So okay, three, two and a half, um, we'd say, and one. Two yeah. and a half. Okay. Yeah. And so I'll get you his exact details as well. Yeah. And there's yeah. videos on him. And you can also look at her video when she came in the lab release and because that's online, you can spot her in the group. When you, If you join yeah. the group, you can put up a post saying, I adopted yeah. these. Can, can anybody send me the link to the videos? Yeah. And, and we'll, we'll have a look we and we'll send you the link through to the videos. Well. Okay. Yeah. So, so there's hundreds of videos on there. <laughs> so now all they need to get is hay. Uh, yeah, so it's it's stock just there. down the road, just $10. Yeah, yeah $10. They're about 35 Here they are. Yeah. Um, but it's in really good condition. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yes, it's great. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so um, just pet stop down the road. We'll have everything you can need for hay. So we'll, 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 we'll put in an old towel at the base of that as well for their trip home. Excellent. I have some towels in my car. Look at this guy. He's so calm. Oh, you yes. Sixty. Um. Oh, she's making muffins. Oh, Sixty. Um. Fifty-six. Two couple sacks. Uh, Ten dollars carrier. Did you want the year's worth of ivermectin as well? I have, yes. Now you you need to, you have to take a photo. Yeah. Now. If you're in the shade, they can stay in the car for half an hour. Like if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't mind sitting in the car in that temperature, it's fine for them. If yeah, if it's too hot for you, to close the car in this heat. Or oh, not for half an hour. But if you want to, because pet stocks are close, you can zoom, get your stuff, and come back if you prefer to do that. Do you also want a year's worth of ivermectin? Sorry, you. There is a question here. Is what is this? This is the ivermectin. This is the mite treatment. Oh, the I, I've just treated them. For, for the... I've shown how to do it. It's one one mil syringe. We give 0 0.2 of a mil per piggy. It's all on the label there. So he's done. Yes. Oh, this is the matching for for the mites. Yes. It's the and mite it's treatment. the same that they talk about. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I, I heard this. It was on COVID, right? That's right. Yes. This, this, this. So that's twenty five dollars for a year's worth. The alternative is Revolution, which you can get from any decent pet store. Mm -hmm. uh, that's in the order of sixty dollars for three doses. I'm just afraid that it was a process to me. Can we say bank card? Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's bank transfer. Bank transfer. Bank transfer. Bank transfer yes. Did you say it was a guy's of keys, a guy's of keys? So do you, did you want the ivermectin? Oh, and you can always yes. come back and get it. No, no, we, yeah, can, we, can, this, we, we need to, okay. to apply again in seven days. In seven days? Yeah, so we are, we're going to do it right now. So that is also then for you. I'll pop that onto the... Uh, 25 ivermectin. Uh, um... Fifty two six two sixty six two seventy six three three hundred and one. Yeah, that's right. Fifty thirty two ten fifty six two seven six. It's three hundred and one dollars. <laughs> if my addition is correct. Mm -hmm. 150 to 10, 
266 276 301. And yes, 300 to what? <laughs> transfer. And I'll just grab the. Is this the tablecloth that it's speaking to? Oh, I've actually got a coffee, thanks, Tim. That's but thank you very much. Oh, it's so no. I'll just get the bank details off. They just need the pellets and the hay from pet stop. From pet stop, yes. So when you go back down the highway, turn right, mm -hmm. and it is the second stoplight on the right. So turn right. There's like a Wood Hill food place mm -hmm. that you'll see, and you can when you turn right, you can park underneath. Oh, and that'll be fine. Very easy. Yeah. As so I said, if, if you'd be happy to sit in the car for half an hour <clears throat> in the exact same circumstances, it's fine to leave the piggies. Underneath there is actually fine. <coughs> right. yeah. um, I'm just going to bring out these other pairs. Okay, need. so I would recommend oat and hay. Do we need uh, food with um, some pellets? Food. Yes, um, Cavi makes Cavi Origins, which I'll I'll write this on a piece of paper for you. Cavi Origins makes a pellet with a vitamin C mm. <coughs> stabilised. So that's what I've got. But my pigs don't like those. Oh, good. My pigs don't like the expensive, posh, proper ones. My pigs like the cheap ones. Mm. So, um, and they've got lots of videos and yeah. Lynn's website on what to feed them and cucumber and tomato because these, these are full adults. They, they're, they're used to a full range of vegetables. Mm. Yeah, no. <laughs> that looks good. Uh, so I would recommend, look, it depends what they've got in at the moment. Timothy Hay is lower in calcium, which is good for the older piggies to help reduce the chance of getting kidney stones mm -hmm. and bladder stones. Uh, but some piggies love it and some piggies hate it. There's oat and hay is good, pasture hay is good, um, alfalfa hay is more suited to, to the babies. But um, the person at the shop should be able to help you. Mm -hmm. Pet stock tends to have a really good supply of stuff in pretty much all the time. Can you order online? Uh, you can. Um, whereabouts are you from? 
breath. We live in breathless sense, close to the airport. Oh, okay, that's yeah, a long drive. It's quite a long drive. Yeah. Um, um, but we probably next year we're going to move. We don't know yet. Right. Where, but probably going to be here in the north. Okay. Well, a pet stock is available everywhere. There's lots of farm supply places. There's Hubble Barn at Penrith. Mm -hmm. They're excellent. There's also um, Enfield Farm pro Produce, which I have ordered online from, and they're good. So if, if you just look up guinea pig pellets yeah, yeah. in Sydney, Perfect. you'll get a... And in the pet shop, they can help us to find the best. Yes, uh, yes. For guinea pigs. Yes. Okay. And their bedding, um, if they're outside, you'll want some wood chips for their bedding. If they're inside, I use toweling because I don't like wood chips everywhere. And so long as they've got somewhere dry and warm to go to bed, they're fine. Oh. <laughs> uh, if you pop it up the corner here, away, away from the electricals. Thank okay. you, Tim. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, do we have so. the phone number to transfer? We, we, there's the, the BSB and the account number right there. Yay! The two piggies have found a wonderful home. And if you if you do join the Facebook group, we can send you the links to the videos. Because uh, yes, it's, it's all fully moderated. There's a couple of questions, but they're very simple. Like, what country are you from? <laughs> and you have to agree to the rules, and the rules are be nice. That's called a syringe, but it's not a needle. Do you know the difference? Okay, a syringe is plastic tube. We can fill it with fluid and then we can put it in or out. A needle has a big a metal tip at the end of it. So you've had your needles at the doctor? Yeah. See, this is not a needle. I go. It's not a needle, it won't hurt. So whereas the syringes are what's used with needles, but they have a metal attachment at the end that's a really fine point. So it could go in your skin and deliver the immunization goodies. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be doing a live again on a beautiful day. And to be adopting out. Oh, you, that, that little boy, he's so beautiful. He's so lovely. Yes, yes. I saw he's very calm. He's gorgeous. Mind you, it's also very rewarding to take them from terrified to calm. Mm. So it takes a few months, but you know, we can get there. For the reference, oh, about oh, your name. Two, uh, my name? Yes, okay. yes, your name. That would be great. So, do you know what that little boy's name is? We actually worked out, Vin remembered Mocha. <laughs> His name is Mocha. The little black girl doesn't have a name, actually. it's yours to name. <laughs> So, Sophia, what you need to remember is you need some pellets and Cavi Origins have got a fortified vitamin C um, and you can get some other pellets as well because they like a mixture and some hay. <laughs> Probably oat and hay or pasture hay. Yes. Oh, okay. It's just on YouTube because it's down in your hands. It's <laughs> okay. No, they can, they can see it's my okay. rain holds. They can see it. Oh. No, um, yeah, but oat and hay or pasture hay yes. or Timothy hay. They have a huge selection up there. I just oh, sent yes. you the receipt. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Time. That's thank you. perfect. Yeah. And they will have everything there from oat and hay to mm -hmm. everything that you need. Get shavings. Please don't purchase straw 
So you don't need straw for guinea pigs. Um, a lot of pet shops will try and sell you that. Oh, you don't good. need it. Mm -hmm. If anything, this product, Melaseb, is really good a good thing to buy from yeah. there. But you, you don't will, have to get yeah. that straight away. You don't need it. You do have to get food yeah. <laughs> straight away. That's right. This is for, for clean. Is it but for it's it? for fungal. For, at some point you'll need oh. it, but we can guide you through that. And yeah. you can come back here. Mm -hmm. So it's not, not a rush. Join the group yeah. and put up a question and we'll send it. We'll put a th photo through oh, yeah. and oh. with the advice and a link showing your video how to use it and how to give them a bath. Oh. So oh. we've got You've got nearly 600 videos now, Lynn. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. There's, a, there's lot. a lot. There's a whole lot more that hasn't been said or done, but are about to come out. So, so that's, yeah. That's also yours. You have also, paid for the ivermectin. I'll just Going swap your places for a minute. Again. Seven, seven days, days and three months. Yes. 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 Just pop it away in a cupboard. Yep. Yep. And you can message me as well if you've got questions or anything. If, if it's a couple of weeks over way of the three months, it doesn't matter. Oh, all right. But the seven days is to overcome that egg cycle. So that, that's mm -hmm. important. And then we need to so reapply every three months. You can months go around or... that way a bit. Thanks. Sorry. Hi, like everyone. Every months or yearly? Um, uh, sorry. Yeah, every month. Okay. Do you remember this little girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the hair starts falling out. Anyone remember her? It's highly likely they may know it too. Sorry. Okay, so this little girl came in. You just wait a minute, then you can hear me properly. Sorry, it's very close. Let's see if you remember her. Take care. We'll see you soon. Okay, sorry everyone, that was a little bit noisy on the live stream, but um, we're just saying farewell to some fantastic adoptees. But do you remember this little girl? This little girl came in hairless. Julia, if you're out there, this is your little girl. She's come into the rescue. She had no hair from her back down. You can see now her hair's really, really good. It's coming through. Can you see her properly? I'll put her down here, then you can, you can actually see her a bit better. There she is. But this little gorgeous girl came in. She had a urethral bladder stone. And she's about five and a half years of age. She had lost all of her buddies and they didn't want to get any more friends. Um, so she's come in to rescue to, to find friends, but also to get better. Now, they were told it was hormonal issues, but as you can see, her hair's regrowing. She's gaining weight and the bladder stones are certainly something we need to, to keep on top of. So she'll most likely stay with us here in rescue, but I just wanted to share her with you so you can see where she's at and um, the improvement she's making so she's probably on some of the live stream videos and at least four weeks ago would be the last time that you saw her but she's got this lovely fur coat now all over which is great and today I actually want to give her a little bath so I'm going to do that in a minute and uh, just treat her again. She's super, super cute. Super cute. So I guess, um, you know, you can have one opinion, which, which she had had, uh, was that it was hormonal and that nothing would change, but actually it was completely not that at all. It was more a case of mites and, um, look how well she's doing. So, Maybe take a second look if you've got opinions on something. Second opinions can be good. She's super, super cute. I'm doing very, very well. It's a good little muncher. Yay. So she'll be here. We've actually got an older girl herd here. So she may join them. There's about three or four in that group along with a D6 male. Um, for those people that have followed us for a long time, you may remember Lily and Nella. They're in that group. And they were some of the worst mange case videos that we've had with guinea pigs come in. And uh, poor Nella and uh, Lily. Lily was actually the male. We had Lily desexed. I really didn't want to do that given how much trauma Lily had been in. But when you look at the the early videos little Lily would just stay beside Nella and would not move away from being with Nella 
was so, so sad. And I just thought with everything they've been through, they have to stay together, which they have. So uh, they're still here doing well. That was way before um, the pandemic. So probably nearly three years ago. So they're still doing well. We may get them out later. You can see them. But this little girl, we might see if she fits in with them. She is about five and a half and, um, you know, recovering well. But because of how bad she was when she came in, we would keep her here as a red flag piggy and just ensure that she always stays healthy and, and doesn't have that happen again. She does have special needs um, and in the sense that her immunity isn't what it needs to be, but she's improved dramatically but she's still got a long way to go. And because of the stones that she had that we did have to have removed, um, we would not want, feel safe with her just going off without that being done, would we? We can stay safe. We can keep on top of it here. Hmm. Remember when she first came in, she had little sparse white hairs through here. Look at them now. Look at the black coat with the little sparse white ones. So she does need a bit of a bath down this end here. Um, it's just not more of a bottom bath than anything. And what I'm feeling there is just a little bit of flakiness that is, is indicative that she's still, even though she's regrown her coat, she's still really, really vulnerable. So I'm just going to give her a bath there to remove any sign of, there's a bit of flakiness, you can see it. Just to remove any sign of fungal um, and also retreat again. We retreat her all the time, this little girl, because she needs it. Needs to stay on top of that in her system. Isn't she cute? She's got some cataracts. You can see those in her eyes. You can actually make that out. I'm, I can see them from here. I hope you can see them. Um, but that's the silvery shine that you can see occurring. Yay. Look at her little nose. Her little nose is still a little bit bare there. <laughs> Strange. Strange. But she's she's going well. Going well. If we look at her tummy, she, I know she was completely naked before. But look at her furred up tummy. She had no fur there whatsoever. She has no little urethral stone there, which is good. But yeah, she's, you can see her legs are getting more furred up, which is great. But she's still, yeah, we're going to give you a little bath, little girl. Just to keep that moving along well. Super, super cute. So let's get that ready. I'm just going to disappear while I get that sorted and um and we'll do that so oh you have to go jay awesome we'll see you a bit later then and if you have to disappear because i know some countries we catch the us going to bed late just drop your comments down below but please press like before you go which helps other people find this so that we can help them with what we're educating there's um Oh, there's so much to share with you. Let me put her down, and then I'll share some more. Come on, while I'm bathing, we'll talk, hey? Okay?
Okay. Let's swap her. her a little towel here we go okay so nice bit of warm water there hey yeah and the area I really want to do is just down around her tummy and her back end because she's got, when you feel up this ridgy area, she's got little scaly bits there. So we just want to make sure that continues to stay clear and well. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, oh, thank you. Have they found a pair? Yes. Oh, they have. Which one? The um, tricolour. Yeah. Oh, that we're in the middle and the dark one. That yeah, they're lovely. Now, what you'll notice in the water, see all the little tiny flakes dropping off that I'm removing. I don't want to wet all of her down because she doesn't need that. She needs this area. Very nice little girl. You need this bit doing. Yeah. Up there. Just under your tummy a bit. Yeah. Good. Okay. We're not doing all of it because she's quite frail. But this has cleaned off that area well, which is good. Good. And your little feet. Yeah. If you have a look at this little toe here, you'll notice she does not have a nail on this toe. Don't, so at some point it's been cut off and you know that's that's quite tragic but this is what we see with see how see how it is there so never ever cut or never ever squeeze when you cut actually she looks that one as well look at that yeah same length a poor little lady hey poor little lady may actually have been a deformity if it's matching and symmetrical like that we'll investigate that in a minute let's get you into a towel Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Up you but you can see in the water, look at all the little flakes that have come out. This is why I was doing that little bottom bath to remove that. I'll sit you down here and you can have, look, you can have some more grass. You can have that. So when you have piggies that are more prone to hair loss and the effects of mites, you need to look for the reason why. You need to look at what is going on that can also be affecting 
fat piggy. So we're going to go to do the end of your nose. Good. There we go. Because their immunity is usually involved and something else is at play. <laughs> this little girl also had some bumblefoot as well on one of her feet and they've they've calmed down a lot. We might take a little look at the paws because we'll look at the front. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's calmed right down. That's right. Clip those. Yeah, they've got nothing on it, hey? Let's see this one. Okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. All right. Good girl. Good girl. Let me see if it's okay. Let's just take a quick look. Oh no, let me see what's going on. Oh no, she does have the tiniest little nails there. So it looks like something has happened to those toes at some point. Wait, 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 I have this kid. His little legs are rebuilding as well. Hey there, hey there. I don't want you to run off. No, me there. Just wait, 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 wait. Good girl. Yeah, yeah, we've had nasty, nasty. That's it. Good girl. Don't worry. That's what's going on. Okay, good. Here we go, she can go and have some grass now. Come on. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hermie, we have it here. If you come to the health checks, we have it here and available. Um, you can try online. Uh, depends where you are in the world. So, um, yeah, just reach out to us, email us, message us. Um, yeah, if you're in America, you can do that online um, through your vet. The vets tend to give by injection, which means you then need to come back for an injection the following week. But um, you don't need to do it by injection, which is painful. You can just do it topically like we do. And it's much better for piggies, um, but it's the best way for it to be. I'm going to grab my tail. A little sip of tea. It's 
still hot, <laughs> which is great. Okay, the next little pair of piggies I'm going to bring up here were dumped, found in a drain pipe. And um, they've been with animal control down on the south side near Sutherland. And yeah, they were found in a drain pipe. Um, they had to go out with their team and, and get them. So it's quite a backstory. They're looking good now, but I can only imagine at the time they were found it would not have been good because we did have rain at that time. So they've been with animal control about 10 days and they've just made their way up here. So we're going to check them out and they need some names. So maybe you can think of some names when you see them, I'll pop them in the chat. Let's have a look because they need to check them over first. Oh, this little girl was found in the drain pipe. So I set her down there because as you can see, she's a pregnant mama. So her little pups can easily be palpated. So she's very close. Like we could actually stop at the end of this live and she may even have delivered them. I'm just going to feel if there's any movement there. Hey, hey, hey. Just sit there, calm. Calm little girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on, just sit, 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 little girl, sit down. Okay, sit down, sit down, sit down. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's a little movement just then, a little movement. Oh, hi, it's for Seymour, <laughs> Seymour's mum. Yeah, he's just down here. He's hiding down here. He's in the tent. You can come down and see him, Donna. <laughs> so, yeah, there's movement with these little pups. And um, how about some of this? Want this one while you're sitting there? I'm literally not going to do very much to her other than pop some Ivermec on. And just do a very, but she's very thin through here, all her bones. She's a very thin mama. <laughs> she's, a, she's actually really bony through here. I don't know if you can see my fingers on either side, but she's very, very thin. So it'll be a good thing when these little ones are born. So she can start to recover. She'll be super, super thin. Okay. I hope you go through the top. Just lift the top. Yeah, no, I, I will. Yeah, I'll try. Oh, yeah, no, I was going to say lift the top of the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, through the, that, there's a little, there's a, I've just literally left that as it was. So you might want to give it a, a little shake because it's just been sitting out. Yep. Did he end up being respiratory as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did. So the antibiotics got on top of that, which was great. And I actually caught it on I caught it on film as well. Oh Yeah, so he's yeah. Yeah. No, he's um Oh just um there's a bin over on that side, green bins over there. Just any green bin. Good. I'm just live streaming on YouTube now, so that's all right. Just so anyone talking to me knows I'm talking to the world <laughs> at the moment. Okay. We're not going to upset her too much. I'm just going to put some Ivermec on you, little girl. And yes, we can Ivermec pregnant guinea pigs. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just frighten you. Okay. Hold on. It's all right. It's all right. So you absolutely can Ivermec pregnant guinea pigs. 
So we're just going to carefully, carefully, carefully get her back over. And when you do carry a pregnant guinea pig, it's really important. See how well supported she is? I've got to give you the head for anything. Oh, okay. Seymour's had a lot. <laughs> Hello, hi, Roger. Yeah, he is. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, keep him away. Yeah, because all the cages are there. Yeah. So, Seymour, here we go. Yeah. Little fella. He loves his critical care, Donna. Did you find the gold one? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Come down and I'll show you how he he has it. I think I've got a syringe. No, no, he, I've got his and you can take it with you, with him. So. So I've got everything here for him. Okay, we're not going to do too much to you, Seymour. Crustiness. Sorry? Yeah, you could come down. It's okay. I'm just putting his Ivermec on him. So he's got that in his system. Yeah, don't let them out. <laughs> so now with Seymour, um, his critical care. Okay, he's got a little bit left here. We fed him on this live stream earlier. He loves it. So I add a little bit of fruit puree. He's got the apple carrot in this one. Mm. Just get the rest of it in there. Would you like this, Seymour? Like that? Yeah. And literally... When he comes for it to the syringe, mm. that's when I squeeze a little yeah. bit. Look at how little I'm squeezing, though. Yeah. Wow. So when he's not on the syringe, I don't squeeze. Okay, so yeah. he wants to swallow that bit, yeah. so I squeeze a little bit. He has it. Mm. So that's how I do it. And I often have him in his little hidey, mm. like the red one he was in then. He's had a different hidey each time. Yeah. And he'll he'll come out. He loves it. So. He's lost so much weight. No, he's not doing too bad, actually. He's not doing too bad. Already, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it's just because he's been shaved. Yeah, well, he had himself. a couple of days where he wasn't eating and just on critical care. Yeah. But now he and he's gobbling all his food now. That's why like I think he needs veggies, to get back. Yes, yeah. Yep. But with his carrot, I'm grating it. Oh, okay. uh, it's not grating. You know, in strings, peeled in strings. Yes, he okay. eats the whole strings. So okay. he'll, yeah. So I'm doing it that way. Yeah. So it's a little bit kinder on his teeth at the moment because they're still so he's quite full actually. Yeah, what if, I um, did read is that they could go back that way again. Is that they can, but we're going to deal with that. So yeah. now that that's taken yeah. care of, we need him to firstly just get back to eating really with full strength and gusto and his weight to go back to normal. Yeah. And then I'll show you a grinding method that we use okay. with, with their little teeth and keep him on top of that. Um, um, can you see down underneath his chin? Yeah, I felt it. Can you see it there? So that, crusty. yeah, and that will just eventually fall away. You don't need yeah. to do anything. Okay. Just it's quite 
sore because that's yeah. been treated yeah. but literally it's dry fine you don't need to worry about that and then he's got his antibiotics that he's on just once a day um, and I'll give that to you now and take that to him. Um, how do I um, give him that? Just yeah. Look, the easiest or... way to feed a guinea pig is actually to wrap him up. Uh, actually, even wrapping him that way, I'll show you the other way. Put a towel down, tea towel size down, sit him on it, and then just fold it over yeah. like that. Yeah. So. And I like to elevate the front part of their body. So under the front paws, lift them up a little bit so it's higher. Then if he's wanting to eat his critical care, he, he's quite full now. So because he's had a big feed not probably an hour ago, he had a big feed and he's been munching grass. <laughs> so he will gobble, I fill this to here, and he will take all of that in a feed. So half of Yes, and he'll have at least three of those a day. Right. Even just two will be plenty. So. Okay. Um, as long as he's eating everything yeah, else. Everything else, just and checking hay, that it's gone. He's, like... he's loving hay. Oh, okay. Yes, he's back well, loving it. Timothy yes, Jones, he's so... back loving it. He's oh. been absolutely, in the last day and a half, he's really been picking oh, up. Good. That's why it's time for him to go yeah, back. Yeah. And his antibiotic, now to do that, wrapped in a towel and holding like this, um, holding like this, what you want to do with the antibiotic is go in sideways to the mouth and squirt it's only a little bit so you just put it in sideways under it it's almost like this because he's used to gobbling that anyway he's going to have a bit more now there you go <laughs> so you just literally put it in his mouth that way he'll gobble 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 and then finish it off and how, it's already mixed it's, it's already mixed no it's it's, it's pink it's a liquid right. you just syringe up what he needs and we'll give him what he needs now actually you can have a cuddle with him and just keep it like that. I'll go and get it for you now, and uh, then he can go. So, Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> um, when I first 
All right. So you need this one here. And there we go. So when you've got him in a little towel like that, hold on, let's see here. Hold on. I'm going to put it in this way. See how he just gobbles a little bit? Hold on. Good boy. There we go. All gone. That's it. So we'll put him in his carrier. Where have you got that? both of those in here so okay. you've got the two syringes in there we'll put you in here see more that's it that's it and we can cut him some long grass he's not really oh. particular on grass um he I likes um, the buffalo so we'll is buffalo. it oh okay <laughs> he's really age, fussy so with which ones he likes Oh, you know, okay. Like, yeah, I that's see why I think he's the wrong grass for him in the morning. Yeah, and Roger gets up early. Okay, uh, yeah, that's he's a bit, but it does, and he's still off bamboo and he's gone off bamboo. Yeah, I bought a pot of bamboo. Okay, so, well, um, that's why I think he's he's better off going home now because yeah. the work's been done and yeah, he's now eating on his own. So, um, and you can get him back to his routine and what he's used to. And that's that's the antibiotic. That's the antibiotic so that that's goes not, in the fridge. So you oh, need to put that in the fridge okay. and he has two and a half mil two so half mil. when you look at a little tiny plunger two and a, it's only a tiny amount yeah. but just once, once a day, a day. yep once about this time, what time frame no it doesn't, doesn't no food. i bet no it doesn't so no you can give it to him just once a day oh, and nice. he's looking really good like everything's dry from the work they did here his teeth he's now eating everything mm -hmm. which is really really good and so, so i've got to bring him down for health checks so you can check his teeth how, yeah how well, what I'd like to do, let's leave him now until this scab is almost coming off, which is about 10 days to two weeks. Right. That will come off. Right. It'll slowly sort of look like it's coming out more and more because it's it's sort of pulling and drying from the inside yeah. out. Um, so, yeah, about two, 10, 10 days, something like that, two weeks, right. we'll check him again okay. and that's when we'll look at the teeth. Yeah. yeah. And he should be by then eating really well. He should have gained more weight and yeah. well and truly be feeling okay. better. Oh, yeah, because he had a lot of pain relief initially for three days. He was on that. Um, so yeah, do you think do, do we have to give him probiotics with having antibiotics? <sighs> Look, yeah. probiotics are um, it's it's a really fascinating area. There are no probiotics exactly for guinea pigs there are probiotics for humans and there are probiotics that are, are given to a number of animals so things like protextin are given to small animals but they're also given to like wildlife and other you know it's not specific to guinea pigs so when guinea pigs have a high dose of antibiotics on board it does reduce their gut flora and probiotics help regain that but when you think about how you get probiotics, um, it actually comes from natural food sources. So when you're eating, for example, grasses um, for humans, natural, um, natural lettuces that are unwashed and so on, they actually have bacteria in that that our gut needs. Mm. So you will actually naturally get mm. it okay. as well. Mm. So there are a lot of people will say, oh, no, you must have Fenibac and you've got to have this every other day and da, da, da. If they're eating a good diet of fresh, healthy food, they will actually recover yeah. with that. Okay. Um, in his case, he hasn't had a big load of antibiotics. Yeah. So to be different for an animal that has had a big load of yeah. antibiotics, yeah. I'd promote it and say, look, it'll just kickstart things yeah. a bit faster okay. than relying on them to eat. But I think just getting him onto his diet will be fine. Yeah. 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 So we'll go with that. Um, yeah. Um, so I'll we'll just, keep in touch. I'll just keep that one up. upright. No, I want to give you obviously some money. No, you don't need to. I'll go with you. That's <laughs> Liam. He's been on my mind. Liam, look at you. Look what you did. I mean, yeah. who else does this? And <laughs> well, I thank said, you. It's kind of interesting that um, I, I know that you wouldn't get um, subsidies from the government, mm. but 
you know, people that do these things need the subsidies from the government, not oil and gas. We were just yeah. talking about this on the way down. Yeah. It's just, that was... Yeah. He's you been know, my little pocket pet on. since Wednesday. <laughs> No, I'm just, no, I'm just, I'll just go and get my, my bag. I'm just no, putting his riding shotgun. I'm riding with my okay. bus in the back. Yeah, um, that's okay. I've got everything. Yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and just keep them upright. Now, you've got all of that. You've got your critical care. Um, I think that's everything there. <laughs> so Seymour's going home. Yay. You'll we'll see him again yeah. soon. Um, I will in a minute. They're just coming back. Oh, right. just coming. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to sip some tea. Yes. We've got to wash and treat all the new rescue that have come through and the other little rescue boy there and the other little one that was found the other day in the backyard. So we do check some things. Oh, I need to do. Regarding her, buddy, I'll let you decide which ones to try. Do you want to try one today? Uh, if it's convenient, yes. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. I'm happy with, look, if she's happy, I'm happy. That's what can do that. I have a suspicion it might have been Queenie's high pitched chatter. That um, Maisie didn't like. Queenie and, set her off and she reacted. Oh, yes. Every time. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there was no answer. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, there was a. But you can see Queenie now. Oh, she's, she's <laughs> I know, she's really happy with the she's others. So happy. Where is she? She's not in that one. No. Is she up in that one? Yeah. She's doing fine. She's happy. <laughs> yeah. Amazing Queenie together. They both would have died of anxiety, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. That's okay. So Chatting with you, you didn't want a bow for me, dude. Hmm. Enough, we finally got one. Yeah, oh, we'll find one. Oh, that family had left the bow oh. here. Oh, oh no, no, they, they didn't want that one. Oh, they right. want the one that attaches on a stand from the oh, side. That's right. that one. Yep. Okay. So that I, one's, I like that's okay. Yeah. I like watching them drink from the yeah. water bowl. Do you want to show Maisie around here for a minute? Oh, I already have. Again, yeah, no, all right. Thank you. Lynn's asked me since I was nursing Maisie. Yeah. He's it's actually giving her a little bit of winter sunshine because this today is glorious. It's just beautiful. It's like 21, 22 Celsius, tiniest of breezes, um, smattering of clouds, cockatoos are screaming in the trees. So that's the sort of neighbour was mowing earlier, so fortunately that noise has gone. That's the, that's the thing, on a nice weekend, with lawns everywhere, neighbours mowing. Oh, can't do everything. So this little girl, Lynn's going to check her back teeth. Uh, Actually, I think we've got some maliceable water there. I'll do your ears. She's got just the tiniest little bit of white powder on her ears, um, which is indicating just the tiniest bit of fungal. And by then, this will be with a little wet weather lately. Plus, she was breathing for a couple of weeks after Zuri died. She um, put Zuri's little body back in and. Maisie came over and sniffed her and licked her and nudged her. So then understood she was dead. So he's been buried in my garden. And um, yeah, for for a couple of weeks, Maisie only came out to eat. She she just stayed in her bed because it was it was also raining. I couldn't go outside on the grass and no sunshine. But she was grieving. It was clear. Uh, she needs a buddy, so we're going to try some of the other girls. Um, it's a shame Queenie didn't work. Queenie was a beautiful girl. Queenie is now in a herd of four other girls and a dissexed male, and she's just happy. So, Ethan, if you're watching, Queenie is 
happy and content and part of a group um, and she's in there having a great time. So what we want is a buddy that you can get along with. And there was there was something about Queenie's chattering that set you off and then it escalated every time. And I think it's came from Queenie not wanting to be hurt. And I can understand that nobody wants to be hurt. But uh, Elin's got quite a lot of rescues who've arrived and needs to be treated. Um, there was a group of five surrendered earlier today. They actually were adopted from here a few years ago, a family with five children, they had one each. So they adopted five and as the children got older, one child took all five of them and was really happy. But he's in a rental accommodation and has to move out into a smaller space and he can't take the guinea pigs. So these are the situations that change in life that we, we need to deal with. But, um, they're all looking absolutely fantastic. In fact, they'll go and move their enclosure so that they're on some fresher grass. <laughs> the guinea pigs, because it's been raining, they haven't been out of the grass. And they are just razor it. There's, there's none left and they're loving the clover. So maybe I should go and do that. <sighs> I thought it was funny. Hi, Marsha. I'm glad. Oh, Marsha, I am so pleased to be over that cold. It just went on and on and on. But, uh, I wasn't really sick. I was snuffly and sneezy. Nobody wants to see a sneezy person at the moment. So I wasn't in quarantine, but I was isolating, which meant no coming to Cubby Central to help. <clears throat> If I had to do anything, I wore a mask. Pretty sure I'm not contagious anymore. It was a cold. But boy, when you get older, illnesses really knock you around. Yeah, an 11 year old, be sick one day and bouncing around the next. Someone much older than 11, and you're sick for a long time. It just takes you forever to recover. I might actually pop you down and since we've got some maliseb and water here there we are do your ear i'm assuming this is just maliseb and water in the bowl yes it is you're excellent i can do her little ears explaining that in the, the two weeks after Zuri died that she was in mourning she was grieving yeah they do they miss their buddies she didn't come yeah. out of her little yeah. box little igloo for anything other than eating and mm. she just sort of hid away for two weeks I mean I gave the cuddles of course <laughs> but uh, mm. yeah yeah lots and lots of cuddles but it's time for a buddy it's time for a buddy. Got little ones too, if you want to look at the little ones. Uh, look, I'm happy with whatever you think is going to work. Oh, um, and well, we've got so many here. I think you need to see who you would like to try. I was taken by the little black yeah. girl that already got adopted oh, today, but okay. there's a little black girl in the other yeah. one who's also really sweet. Yeah. But I'm, I've also never had a white guinea pig, so I'm happy to have a white okay. guinea pig. Yeah. But the main thing is, is that they get along. Yeah. And I only brought one carrier with me today. I forgot. Oh, we've got, we've got this here. Yeah. <laughs> we can sort, we can that, sort that out. I'm happy with a box even. No, no, it's all right, sweet. You can do your ears a little bit more. Because I've been meaning to do this for ages. It's just the tiniest hint. Oops, oops. Lynn's bringing across another spot. a little palliative girl. 
Sorry, is she paid no, 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 this is the two that were found in the drain. Oh, uh, this is the buddy. He's you're a male. drain girl. Drain boy. So lucky so, to be found no. in the drain. Yeah, the animal because team. had a downpour, didn't we? It, it was in the downpour that they found them. Oh, no. Yes. So they had them in animal control for about a week to 10 days and then... Um, well, that's good. They yeah. can quarantine them for you. They have. They've already <laughs> done it. So they brought them in. She's well and truly pregnant. Oh, the, mm. the little, the little girl. The girl. Yeah. Oh, right. So well, of course. now one of the other things we've had is four boys desexed. That was in the last. Did she need you? I think I might put it. Oh, she needs yeah. a wee. That's what that means. Yeah. We had uh, four boys desexed because we have a large number of boys in care and it will really help them find homes a little bit more easily even though desexing has and carries risks but all of them came through really well which is great and um, now one of those I'm just trying to think one of the little boys came from a rescue that we did only oh, again a week and a half back of 11 guinea pigs and essentially they were all in an A-frame cage with nothing but poo and uh, one of the guinea pigs had just littered three young so it was it was a really terrible terrible situation that they were in and on the outside was nine cats so it was uh, incredible but I bundled them all up and so we had 11 come in with that rescue and one of those boys was a very dominant male that had really attacked um, a white boy in there badly but uh, because we had uh, the desex program we, we popped him on that list so he's recovering which is great the little white boy is recovering from his wounds and injuries um, and he's with one of the babies they're paired up they seem to be really quite well and then another little male was actually adopted and has found a home um so that's quite good yeah, you little fella. and um then at the same time we had a guinea pig that and i think he was actually on a live stream but he had been dumped at the vet he was a cute little fellow he's a little black and white crested boy but he was one of the desexed boys as well I know, a little fella. Hold on. I'm just going to check you out. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just see what's going on down here. You're only young. What should we call him? Oh, Fuzzbutt. <laughs> no, Fuzzbutt's taken. That's my guinea pig. He's called Fuzzbutt. Well, hold on, little fella. Okay, let's do this. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. We've got name suggestions for him. Him and his buddy but we may get him desexed and then he can actually remain with her once she has littered the pups he'll have to recover from the surgery and um they can go back together so that's that's a possibility looking at him he's about probably a year of age i wouldn't put him more than that because his digits are really straight his teeth are in a lovely condition and just his body structure is in line with him being fair. see how straight his toes are look at that that's one of the indicators that we look at but yeah he would definitely not be more than a year of age this little guy hey yeah and you're the daddy you must be the daddy hmm so yeah he needs a name and she needs a name as well Come on, let's get this on you. Oh, have you got her out? Make sure you lift completely underneath. Oh, I've got her on yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's enjoying the sunshine. She's beautiful. She's not far off littering. 
She's, she's going to happen anytime. So, <laughs> yeah, there's, there, there was. I felt a kick and it took quite a while until I felt a little kick and it was on the left. So often with, um, with piggies, people often ask about guinea pigs that are about to litter, about separation of pubic bones and all this sort of thing. Quite honestly, let them be <laughs> and let them do what's natural. You don't need to know the day or the hour. The babies are going to come. And when they get into difficulty, that is the thing you need to be aware of um, because you can end up with C-sections that, that may be needed. Um, oh, the daddy has to be away. Definitely. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah, immediately. Yeah, if the males are there, they're at high risk. Two weeks, two weeks gestation. Yep. Yeah, they have an estrus cycle of two weeks. So, or just on. Yeah. Um, but um, so for her, she's very, very close. Maybe we'll set a camera up for her. That might be good for people to see. Although there wasn't a lot of movement. Oh, that's what I was going to say is that often guinea pigs, before they litter, the movement stops. So in the days preceding, a day to two days, there's very little movement of the pups. And that little one there hasn't got a whole lot of movement happening. So I suspect, yeah, I suspect she's fairly close. So we'll see, probably maybe four pups, I'm guessing, three to four, yeah. Anyway, we'll wait and see. I know she's so lucky she's not in that drain. <laughs> Yeah, just don't let her move off there because she is, we, we don't know her history. That would be fatal. So, um, yeah, just, just, we don't know her background there, so something could frighten her easily. Just, just be ready. Don't want anything to happen. Um, yeah, so we've got these other piggies that have just come in. We're going to check them over. A few of them I've seen a bit of hair growth issues so we'll, we'll check them over and have a look but there's five that have just come in and um yeah never ending they're pretty friendly they are friendly yeah mm. hello Renata's is here. Hi, Renata. You may as well come straight down. Okay, so. Change these towels around. How are you? Do you need a hand? You're <laughs> right. You brought them both. Yeah. This is Renata. That's okay. Okay. And today I didn't see anything, but I could be wrong. Okay. So yeah. So we'll bring a check. That's fine. Yeah. Do you want to put who's, yes, who's in here? That's Snowy. Oh, okay. The girl. Okay. So this little girl here, we've got YouTube on here, they're watching at the moment. So that's, no, that's okay. That's okay. So this little girl had and two little abscesses. And I didn't film this, so YouTube won't know it. <laughs> but we'll tell you. Is that how I'm doing it? Oh, there. Okay, here we go. Hello, gorgeous girl. How are we doing? Well, that's, that's so much better. So much better. So, so much yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just is just good. little wounds. Still yes. Does. Okay. Really good. Yes, yeah, so much better. Okay, so this is this little girl came in for health check and she had down here. I'll just get rid of that cloth. Fresh one. Okay. So she had down here on her flank, and it was enormous. It was very, very big, two great 
big, enormous, I know it was right there, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Yeah. Two big bumps down there. She's like, don't do anything there. <laughs> she had two big, 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 big lumps that um, needed to be dealt with. So we checked and they were abscesses as a result of a little nip that got infected. So now she's come back for a little check so I can see what's going on. Hey, let me just have a look. How long has it been? It's only a week, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. Just put me here for a minute. Little girl. Little girl. Hold on. Hold on. It's going yeah. there. Let's do this one. It's a gorgeous day again. It is. So nice. Here we go. Wait a minute, Lizzie. Lizzie. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. nowhere near what it was which is great but Yeah, look, she's doing really well. What I'm going to do is actually just put an antibiotic spray on there, mm. um, just on the top of it. I do think that that's going to be an issue in weeks to come where we have to remove it. But for right now, we don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I would like to see is, firstly, that this centre that's formed literally drop away rather than build mm. in size and to me it's looking like it could actually build in size but it's not at the moment so so we don't want to disturb it we just want that to remain clean and clear a few weeks time we'll reassess it okay, okay. but i do imagine we'll have to take that away which is very easy very very easy you can see it was nothing like it was before no definitely which is great she's still got down here you can still feel the lump here in there she's still got that there mm. yeah so that's why i think it's going to yeah i think we need to keep a, a cautious eye on that so i'm just going to put some antiseptic on there because she's been having fine, like, like as I mentioned, eating, yeah. drinking very well. And yes, everything would be fine with it. Her, only yeah. her weight was a bit like it's fluctuating because I'm, I'm measuring her weight every day. So yeah. Yeah, because there's still an irritation down into mm -hmm. there. So that's why I think it'll I think it's going to be there. But it's getting smaller, smaller. We want it to do that. Become more it'll probably become more of a raised ball or point here mm -hmm. and less and less of a lump underneath like it was. Because mm -hmm. that big lump, those big lumps you had two, yeah. they've gone. Yeah. So that's what we want. It's looking really, really good for what it is. So yeah. Going to stain you a bit blue though. <laughs> okay. okay, that's good. Now I'll put them back into, she can go back in here, face first, so you don't get anyone blue. That's it. <laughs> and that will just stay on there, there's no more. And then we'll just check in in a few weeks' time. I think that's what will happen with it. I think mm. that's how we progress. But we'll keep an eye. We could be lucky. But she's certainly so much better than oh, last yeah, time, which is really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They were huge. And this, that's really 
Ah, okay. How is Billy going? Just sit him up he on here. All right. Yeah. Like I didn't see. Uh, like I was touching. Hi, little anything. dude. Oh, that's feeling good. Come here. Let's check you. Come on. Oh, you're a big boy now. <laughs> Look at this. Billy, hello. Billy, you're looking gorgeous. Yeah, you're absolutely fine here, which is good. Uh, still a bit there. Look. Is it? Yeah. Okay. See here? See there? Just a bit. Mm -hmm. So, I Oh, oh, Billy, you beat oh, me, Billy. <laughs> it's okay. Naughty Billy. Yeah, I'll put him through into a bath again now. It's nearly gone. So we're mm. winning, which is great. Okay, so Billy, I you're in the bath. The, the, I went back to him yesterday because I thought that, because he had like, Look at that. You okay? Do guinea pigs bite? Yes, they do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but you are so naughty. You That's okay. We'll do him in a minute. That's okay. Billy, Billy, Billy. A little Zorro. I noticed yesterday I was stroking his nose. Yeah. Like he, he was just sitting there. Okay. And there was something like a little bit of scat came out. Oh, okay. In his so, nose. Yeah. Okay. And then I noticed something on his body yesterday. Here. Okay. Only I noticed because... something on his body yesterday, but today I didn't see anything. I could have missed it. Well, I'm just going to use my left hand because he's using my right. No, his nose is fine. He's fine. And we just did the Ivermec last week, didn't yes, we? Yes, and I did it uh, yesterday as well. Oh, okay. Did you do point four for Billy? Yes. No, no, the, the Billy, I didn't do anything because he had twice already. Okay, we're going to do it again for Billy. Yeah, okay. We're going to give him one and, more and, dose. And, and Zoro, he doesn't have anything? No, he doesn't, but we may just do it again today ah, okay, for him okay. as well. Yeah, because okay. you're going to find it's a little bit residual because um, Billy had it quite severe yeah, he when he came that, in, yeah. he was fitting. And yeah. yeah, so now he just needs, we often do that over a three week window rather than two when they are like that. Okay. So for Billy, we're just going to do that extra for him. Because I was yeah. scared. I didn't want to overdose him, obviously. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, that's right. And I forgot, Billy's a bite. Yeah, <laughs> so, sorry, I should have been mine. No, 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 that's, that's okay. It was me, I had my wrist there. Yeah. He took advantage of it. <laughs> Cheeky little thing. Okay, so I will go and get some water and uh, we'll bath Billy. And the other little one's done, which is great. Um, and that's it. Let me load these up. In the drain. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's from the yeah. yeah, in the drains. Yeah. Animal control. Yeah. Yeah, they're lucky actually because it was wet at the time and then they've had them for about 10 days before they've come in. So. Oh, no, I think they've actually been handed a lot of the animal control. That particular one doesn't get guinea pigs very often, and the girls are just lovely, and they, they were really very worried about them. <laughs> so I think she's had a lot of handling in the 10 days. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they've really well looked after them. They're, they're great down there. Um, so, But they've come up. That's on the south side, Sutherland Shire of Sydney. Oh, so... Yeah, let me go get him some water and we'll do him. Yeah. 
to find one thing to try. Okay. You need to do... Okay. Okay. So, Billy. Billy the Biter. It's Billy the Biter. Come on out. <laughs> okay. I'll get him out. They can just sit on there. No, that's it. Yeah. Billy, come on. You're going back in the water. Come on, little dude. Oh, you're so good now. You're so good. Hello. Good boy. Now, because Billy is a biter, we just put it around Billy's little face. Like this. Because he will bite. He does bite. Here we go. This time, we don't need the coconut butter. We can go straight for this. It's okay. It's okay. It's like you're doing that thing again, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am, Billy. Hold on. Here you go, Billy. And for people who saw Billy, I think, I think it was two weeks ago we saw Billy, wasn't it? The first time, maybe? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. I think we did, we filmed it or we live streamed it or something. I think it was filmed. Maybe filmed, yeah. Um, but yeah, within minutes we could do this. And now you can still touch Billy like this, mm, fine. Yeah. But we have to make sure it stays clear because he's got a patch of it here somewhere. Just loose. <laughs> Just want to make sure it completely goes. Just agitating that. You can see it's not bothering him mm -hmm. like it did before. Yeah, like before yeah. yeah. God, Billy, you're so much better. We go. Let's rinse that off. That's all we need to do. Let's make sure I've got the right spots. Yep. Yeah, he's doing really well. So that will help finish that off. Good boy, Billy. Go, good boy. Here we go. Into there, little dude. Good. Check his ears again. You're getting used to this, Billy, aren't you? <laughs> like, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm doing this again. Yeah. He's a sweetie. So he's always going to be a little bit prone. Mm -hmm. And it's always going to be in that V shape, like it was mm -hmm. then. So, he's super cute. There we go. Billy, that's excellent. We're going to put some more overlap on you. Okay, 
That's him done. You can go back in there. There you go. All finished. There you go. Probably this that's and then cool. the other little boy, we'll just put the eyes on there for him. He's done. Yeah. Oh my brother. Yes, that's a good boy. Let him touch your nose yesterday <laughs> for the first time. Oh, really? Yeah, but normally, like, he gets quite I don't know when I've seen this. There was something like little spot. I'll check him over. It's, it's come here, little fella. Come here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come here, that's good. Oh no, it's okay. The, the one from his nose, it like it came off, but yeah. there was another one on his body side. Yeah. Let me just check him over. Has he got a friend that he's with? Yes, yes. He's dead. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's nothing now. It could mm. be because he may have had some very light fungal like the others. Mm. And the Ivermec, what it does is it makes it just drop off. So it when you touched very it, it's small, very small. Yeah, so it's just come away. Mm -hmm. So we'll put some more Ivermec on him now. Oh, there is actually right there is here. Oh, he's got something, oh. yeah, right there. Right there. Can you see that? You can probably feel it with your finger. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't see it. Yeah. I just felt, felt something. It, yeah. yeah, just there. Yeah, it's a little tiny. It must be in the grass. That's what you can see on the grass. I'm just going to agitate it, get off. It's oh, just, okay. again, it's just see how you, it's skin coming away with hair. So we just need to give him a little bit more okay. either neck. Because yeah. I gave him yesterday. Oh, you've given him? Yes, yes. Did yes. you do point 0.2 or point 0.4? Uh, I did point 0.4, but I but actually I scored oh. something. Oh, oh, oh he's got more here. As oh, well, just there. Yeah, he does. Oh, that's the sore bit. We dealt with him before, didn't we? Yes. And he had that before. No, not the sore bit. No. Yeah, I think he did. He did. He yeah, did. yeah, he did. Because one of them had a little round sore. Oh, I think uh, it was yes. him. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was you. Yeah, no, it was him. Okay. So just around, I'm going to put some coconut on there. Mm. Um, oh, this is not from a bite. No. Ah, okay. The, okay. I think it's from him scratching okay, okay. in the V, it's the okay. V line area. Okay. He has no signs of bites anywhere else. Because I've so, never seen them even even yeah, growling, no. like the growling, no. you know how they you know when they are upset. Purring and yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's just part of the part of the same because it's in the same area in the okay. it's right in the V line. Because his fur is so thick, it's, it's hard to, it's very easy to miss it. Yeah, yeah, it's just he's been scratching that. It's almost oh. two patches there, side by side. Hey, no, look <laughs> at you. What's on there? Missing. You're all right, you're okay. It's a little I bit think of pain. You like this. What I'm going to do is actually just get a little spot of this bleach. Let's move up that in. Few little patches in the V line. You have, I know. I'm going to give you a bit more. Right, get back up. Hold on. The buddies, I'm going to use this just to rinse off. Just there. I know. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I want to do. Just that. That was all. Okay. Come back here. Just to dilute that on that area. Hey, good boy. Look to your little ears. The reason we pay so much attention to ears is that when guinea pigs have mites and fungal, there's always residual issues from the ears. And we've got to make sure that they're clean and clear. 
I'll just go back through that, yes. Whenever you cut their nails. Okay. But in this case, when we're, we've been treating them each week. So for them, this is the second treatment from him from me. Mm. And we just do it each time. Because mm. when they've had it the first time, you'll notice a little bit of sort of flakiness that it's almost like, um, it's not like the little clump that's in there. It's dead skin, but it's like a clump. It's perfect for fungal and perfect mm. for mites because it's effectively like a little piece of dead skin, mm. but it just harbors moisture in there and is perfect. I think it's a perfect playground. So whenever we treat for mites and fungal, you've got to do their ears. Definitely oh. do their ears. Because we don't want those numbers flourishing you know hold on hold on he's a bit good there oh boy <laughs> were you able to do anything with the humidity in the room that they're in because they're in a really warm room aren't they uh, right now because it's it's still it's winter okay. It's, okay. it's okay okay yes yeah but, but towards uh, like the warmer weather oh yes, okay then I, I, have to think yeah. of, uh, yeah. I, I, I was looking actually in, in the stretch of they were saying this huge like big chunks of salt yes 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 so yes the, 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 yeah it, this salt can can be like yes okay absolutely but put it in a bowl yeah <laughs> put it in a bowl or you'll yeah, get a shock yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And not put this yeah. underneath the canvas. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um because right now it's it's okay because it's in, like nice and warm, especially now with the sun. Yes. But I know that in summer it will be Yeah, it will start. Yeah. Put a bit more on that side. Sorry, little guy. There we go. Right, it's better. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. We'll pop some more. I'm going to do his ivy neck again. Mm, okay. Which is perfectly fine. I'm just doing point two on him. Right. He's good. So he can go back in there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Oh, so all good. Really? So yeah, we'll talk in a couple of weeks. Okay. When that one has, um, on Snowy, when it has... I'd say, I'd say the little scab will come away, but to me, I actually think it's, because I think it you're going like to see it more. To grow I think yeah, it's going yeah, to go yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Yeah. What I'm looking for is that, you know how big it was before. Yeah, I know. And yeah. you can still feel like when you put your fingers over, there's still, it's like tender there. Mm. Um, how would I describe it? It's harder tissue. Mm -hmm. I would look for that to go and it become more of a little volcano. That's what mm -hmm. I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to take weeks for that mm, to happen. Definitely. So probably two, three, four weeks time. Just send me a photo okay. and then I'll be able to say it's time. Come on up and we'll sort it. And just in one go, then it'll be gone. Uh, yep. Is it a chance that you might get infected? No, it won't. Okay. No, it so, won't. Those okay. sorts of things only get infected if they start to ooze or don't, I don't want you to squeeze no, no, it or touch it. No, it should be completely sealed. Mm. Um, there's no infection there. All of that's been treated. Mm. So that's fine. When they get infected, it's when things are oozing, bleeding, pus, mm -hmm. and no, yeah, it, it goes never, from there. It was never, yeah. it was never oozing. It was no. really good. No. But what I noticed, one of her uh, friends is nibbling on, on, on the wound. Ah, okay. So, yeah, that's what right. I spotted once. I don't know, should I okay. say, like, put like, like, ex, mm. like segregate them? Or I, I don't want her to no, be by herself. I, would, I wouldn't separate, no. Let's just that see how it goes, because I don't think it'll, it'll, happen i don't think it'll change if you find though it is oozing a little bit mm -mm. then we'll bring her up we'll mm. just do it straight away mm -hmm. yeah we'll do it then because so. i noticed like because every day i look at it obviously yeah. every day i noticed like there's a difference it was like it was getting better yes yeah but uh, yeah. You can it's see by hugely the photos, better yeah. from how it was yeah, I know. which is great they were so no. big yeah. so big which is great so i think we drained about 30 mil mm. from pus from there so yeah. It was substantial, but she's really, really good. I think she just needs more continued healing time, though. Mm. And what will happen is it's going to be on the surface, 
which is what we're seeing in that little yeah, area. Yeah. And that's very easy to treat right. yeah, from there. So that's fine. Don't be worried about the surface bit and how it appears. But if there's any, you know, leakage or smell yeah, yeah, or like, yeah. discharge, then just let me know. Or, or, yeah. or the warm area around it. Yeah, yeah, it should just stay dry as it is. It might look a bit bigger. That's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not hot, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should I be worried about her weight that it, that it fluctuates every day? Or no, the 10 more? grams is fine. That's okay. not, no. Okay. Um, but I would still weigh her. Um, mm -hmm. You don't need to do it every day day yeah, now yeah. you could do it once a week yeah that's what and we just, started yeah. doing with all of them oh once great a week. excellent yeah. yeah and so now she doesn't need to be on daily or anything now but no definitely just keep an eye on the weight they can vary up to about 25 grams which is like a urination so they've just weed so you may have weighed them the day before when they didn't need to go to the toilet and then the next day you weigh them they're about to go and oh, okay, so yeah, okay. you, do you know what i mean yeah, so that yeah, yeah. so when we start to chart though if we see a guinea pig here at this mm. weight the next day it's down 25 we don't worry day one mm. we don't worry mm. unless there's other symptoms mm, mm, things mm, mm, going on but one drop is fine two drops in a day like the next day is down again mm -hmm. then down 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 they're going you know straight down so mm. we need to, no, to because find it goes down then goes up and up and yeah. down down and yeah. then up again and yeah it's just... no you'll find she'll be like this on a little platform mm -hmm. and for her she should continue slightly going up mm. it takes them so much longer to gain weight than to lose it i wish yeah. it was true for us <laughs> yeah, I know. but it's not but yeah it does take it takes a while for them to regain it really yeah. does so yeah and she's uh, still got a problem on board, but it's not what it was, not the yeah. infection before. And her so. weight is like normal for her, her age? She looks good. Oh, she looks yeah, good. She looks so I don't good. have to worry about like no. nutrition. Okay. No, 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 no. She looks good. Just lots of food and yeah, just weigh her every now and then. Don't worry. Don't overly worry about that now. Okay. She's she's good from where she was, which is great. Uh, okay. Yeah, thank it's you awesome. so much. Pleasure, me. pleasure. Um, and yeah, in a few weeks time, we'll, we'll catch up, which is great. Yeah. Okay. What are you going to so, do in your afternoon now? I'm going to have a rest. Oh, good. Because <laughs> I was on work today. Okay. Yeah, yeah so we'll do that. Stuff. Awesome. We'll catch okay. up in a few weeks' okay. time. It's good Thank to see you. Thank you so much. Okay, a pleasure. Bye. Take care. Bye. You right? Can you manage? Don't drop them. Yeah, don't let them out the bottom. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. Hi. She's a cutie. Yeah. Oh, Panda. Panda's a good name. That's for the other piggy that was found in the um, drain. Yes. Panda, I like that. What do you think about panda for down here? Panda for the fellow. <laughs> Not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Panda's name, black and white. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought it was funny. Hello. Thank you to all our admins who are online and helping with everyone and questions. Yeah, we've, we've had a few that we've done live. Um, I guess to update everyone, let's take a moment with that. Um, the, the last um, year for me has been extremely difficult. I can't tell you how hard it has been. Other than people who have, you know, grieved and lost people in their own lives would understand on top of everything we've all had the pandemic and stresses and you know so much personal stuff going on and then we've had rescue where we've had a full rescue and the demands have been um incredible like every day it continues i get messages every single day at least 10 to 12 of them right now wanting to surrender and we have such an enormous surrender list so the piggies that I've been talking about, um, the one that was found in the drain pipe, um, the way that we evaluate who we can get in and how we can help as urgent, they have no home. They are on their own. They were in an animal control shelter, which is for cats and dogs primarily. And while the staff there are absolutely fantastic, they really are, um, it's still a very scary place for guinea pigs to be. So. Um, by us having them come in here, we can give them a safe place to be. And as you can see, she's fairly close to littering. So, um, you know, there's other things going on there for her. Um, the five that we've had come back in, they were on our waiting list. So they've actually come back in now. And then we've had um, 
Oh, the single fellow dumped at the vet. We've had another pair that were caught in a yard and then taken to a vet and they've come up and then um, numerous cases like that. Um, another little boy only a few days ago, he's really patchy and he's really struggling, but he was found in a backyard where there are dogs and the dogs actually spotted him. He was on a wood pile and they didn't know what it was. Uh, the dogs didn't go near him, but um, it alerted the owner and the owner actually went out and hired a trap to catch this little guinea pig and um, then has come up here. So, you know, really thankful that he was caught because he would have been killed by something at some point. So, you know, we've had a continuous, continuous time in rescue. Um, adoptions are really slow. And I think that's part of what everyone is experiencing with so many people um, also wanting to find homes and giving away guinea pigs as well as um, people wanting pets as guinea pigs. They're perhaps not always coming to rescue to find them, but they may have friends that no longer want them. So they're taking them on that way. And that's, that's a double-edged sword in a lot of ways because we find when they come to the health checks that the guinea pigs that they've had come in or that they've now got on board may have mites or mange or may have an injury or may have, you know, issues that they don't necessarily know about when they take on those pets. Where when we have animals here ready to go and find homes, we, we like to know that they're in the ready state to do that. So, you know, it's it, it's a double-edged sword because they need a home too and it, that's a fantastic thing. So, yeah, it's what can I say? It's a struggle. It's worldwide. People are going through this in rescue everywhere. And um, it's, it's really, really challenging. That's how I'd put it. So, yeah, really challenging. Oh, so I thought it was funny. My arm is just bothering me from getting stung by something. Ouch. I was looking forward to this live, but my arm is really... Oh, you better go and get an antihistamine if something has bitten you. Is this a guinea pig bite? Do guinea pigs bite? There we go. Little nip. A little nip right there. Um, guinea pigs, I'll do a separate thing on guinea pigs biting because any animal can bite you. Any animal mouse will bite you. Um, but effectively, the main thing is if they've not broken the skin that you you know, you don't need to worry about it. If they have broken the skin, you may need to disinfect or, or take further action. So we'll talk about that. We'll do a separate video for you because I've got some interesting stuff on that. Yeah, so antihistamine, I think for you, I thought it was funny. Go and get that. And um, yeah, so rescue at the moment, challenging, still challenging um, on top of everything personal that I've had to deal with. And sometimes it's really difficult to turn the camera on and be with you when there's so much else occurring and you know um it takes a lot to actually get in front of a camera here and just talk to to the world talk to you and i love you all and, and i'm so appreciative of the support that you give us as a rescue but it is a difficult thing to do um you know there's no easy way around that and there are some times when I often think, oh, I should turn the camera on now, but you know, you may not be wearing something that's decent or it could be in my pajamas or some, some things happen that I think, okay, this could, this could help, but there's a lot of other preparatory steps involved. So yeah, it's, um, it's, it's tricky, you know, right down to my hair. I mean, guys, you've seen my hair at different times and, and it's like, oh, okay. Um, challenging challenging because i you know i yeah I, I like to be i guess presentable to you but i'm i'm not fussed about looking right i'd rather get the job done and the animals treated so sometimes if you're just looking at my hands maybe that's you know that's what's going on so forgive me i'm only human <laughs> but yeah it actually takes a lot to get on camera to do that and I must admit the last few months I found it really difficult because we've had so much going on um, personally and and otherwise yeah it's um it's been a hard time so but needless to say we are very busy we've got a lot going on here as well 
and continues. So I thought it was funny. I wish my hair was as long and healthy as yours. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is tough. This is a vacuum cleaner killer. Has anyone ever heard that before? Vacuum cleaner killer. This is my hair. Um, yeah, it's really tough. And um, there's, yeah. Uh, it can be hard putting yourself out there sometimes. It absolutely can. And look, we talk about grief and loss with animals. Um, but as you would know, I lost my mum over a year ago, and that was devastating for me, devastating for our family. So I haven't touched on that, but grief is a really massive, massive impact on your life. And that's without doing anything else. So, you know, my heart goes out to anyone else going through that. And I've lost friends. Like I, I had a dear friend who passed away at the end of January. She was only 57 and, you know, very, very sad, very, very difficult. So, um, yeah, many deaths in a short space of time. And it's, it's hard on top of everything else that we do, even in this area of rescue, you know, to hear of animals being stuck in drains and um, being discarded and thrown away or in such a bad condition that, you know, they're, they're extremely unwell. It, it really gets at your heart and it's really difficult. So, um, there are different things as well. Like I've been doing this a very long time and I know of a lot of people who start in rescue and literally, you know, we've had instances even last year where within weeks they've shut down because it's just too much. And you deal with some really extreme situations and it takes a lot of diplomacy at times to get through that and navigate that. So there's so many facets to this work and this role, but you know, I guess what I just wanted to say is that I haven't been with you as much in the last few months online because we've had a really big, big time with things going on and, yeah, not always have felt like just turning the camera on. But there is an upside to that, that I have filmed a lot of things for you because there are so many areas that I want to share with you in the care of these animals and there's a lot to come out so i've just got to get those videos out and you will have access to them so that's something to look forward to yeah um i thought it was funny he says i hope you take time for you i know the work you do has a huge demand um yeah um it's a really tough one actually i'm trying to get that I'm in the mid center but without moving me but i don't seem to be there i don't know how I don't know, it's not working, is it? Anyway, technology again. Um, taking time out, it is 24 seven. And yeah, I guess there's there's a huge commitment to, to doing the work that I do. Um, we need to get more organized with volunteers, but we actually have been right down with our volunteers in recent months so if you would like to help here definitely reach out um, because their help is always appreciated but there's always cage cleaning things to do animals to wash bath treat you know lots of things to to occur and um yeah it, it's it's never ending when it gets really tricky like in the last few weeks we've had surgeries going on with a lot of animals we've had um, a lot of animals that have come in very, very unwell. And that's when you're really watching and feeding regularly, like in some cases every few hours. And around the clock on top of everything else, there is no extra time. So it's, you know, it's more tricky that way. So it's a, it's a hard balance. But these balance, I guess these things come in peaks and troughs and you've got to try and work your way through it. Um, in terms of the numbers that we house here, um, we try and keep that at a manageable level uh, when we have too many coming in that it you know it becomes exhausting you know beyond what you normally deal with and if you're already dealing with things like grief or uh, personal issues um, like what I've just explained then you know it's it's extra it's the extra on top and it, it can be really challenging so um, yeah, something to be mindful of. 
Um, there's also a thing in rescue, and I'm trying to think, I think it's called compassionate, compassion, someone might help me out there, compassion, health, oh, I'm trying to think of it, but it basically means if you're a carer, whether it's a carer for people or carer for animals, then you're very prone to becoming exhausted, these periods where it can get really tough, and Sometimes you do need to cut back a little bit in order to navigate that. And I've learned that in rescue for so long because you do have to manage it. So you have to, it might be called compassionate care. Uh, it's a condition. It's actually like a recognized condition with carers, um, whether you're in wildlife or animals or, you know, people, um, it can really impact you and your mental health. So. Um, it's something that you, you need to observe. And for me, part of not going live so often frequently has allowed me to sort of step back a bit and just get on with what I need to. And, um, yeah, it's like a fatigue, Christine. You're quite right. It is. It's tiring. And it's like you're not going to say no to, to anything. But I, I don't think there's probably not a lot of people understand that this is not a nine to five type role that it can be every hour and it can be into the early morning and it can you know you might be driving long distances or in fact like even checking some guinea pigs that were dumped down at Wollongong south of Wollongong near Kayama only a few weeks ago and they were not there um, you know that drive alone two and a bit hours so it, it takes takes a toll on you because it's constantly there but you're never going to not do it and that's where you forego your own rest or your own needs in order to help something else so you it's a really fine balance so for anyone that ever thinks about undertaking a rescue it's a really integral part of managing that long term so again part of the reason for sort of stepping back from live streams so much is that you know it's just that bit extra that right now I've had to sort of cut back we've had lots going on and just to make sure and be mindful that you know that I stay on top of it all hmm. oh. <laughs> Diane yeah I know about vacuum killer hair mine is very thick and down to my orbit so yeah yeah it is it truly is it was my mother-in-law said that it killed her guinea pig this is oh no I don't know what I'm saying guinea pigs on my brain it killed her vacuum cleaner this is you know 10 years ago when a long time ago when I saw her last killed a, killed a vacuum cleaner sorry oh okay who have you got in oh okay in with her okay okay all right I'll just finish on here and then we'll we'll do that yeah it is okay to take care of me um yeah I guess the the other side of it is that when you say take care of you for example when I broke my leg I don't think many people on the live stream or, or internationally may know that I broke my knee and this is back in 2018 thereabouts maybe 2019 but I broke my knee and it I did a lot of damage. I, I completely wrecked the um, crucial ligament, gone, <laughs> tore the meniscus. The inside of my knee looked like an egg pulp. And uh, yeah, so through all of that, continued to function. I think there's one or two videos that may be out where I was on crutches, but you know, you still have workload to contend with. And I was still, even on crutches, was still dealing with and feeding animals around the clock. And it, it's you know I wish I was a superhero in some ways but you're not you're only human and uh, it was really really difficult um, but not a lot of people would actually know that that happened and that process of healing it was 12 weeks you know that's a long time to mend so and in the meantime you're sort of coping with and doing different things yeah it's tricky so yeah yeah fatigue so anyway we've you know we also package it up put it to the side and get on with what you need to as well oh okay you didn't discover me till then okay 
Yes, he wouldn't have known about the broken leg. Um, I even had um, a life-threatening condition where I could have died. <laughs> if you want to get really serious about stuff going on, but yeah, 2017, going back, I had a PE, which is a pulmonary embolism, and 35% of people don't even get to a hospital. They die before then. So that's how serious it is. Um, but again, you know, when you are live streaming and doing things and in front of the, the public, you don't tend to put a lot of things out there. So I don't think people would even know that happened. But that was, you know, I spent a month in the hospital. So it's pretty serious. Pretty serious. Yeah. So anyway, I'm not as healthy as I need to be. I thought it was funny. No, I'm not. And uh, I guess, you know, I don't like New Year's resolutions. Does anyone like those? I, I, I don't give much to them, uh, credence to them, because I think most people probably don't stick it out. I don't know. But, yeah, I do need to get back on top of my health more so. And uh, it's a big part of things. So, anyway. Um, so, that's where I've been. That's what's been going on. On. And we have lots of stories of these little ones that uh, will come your way shortly. So the five that have come back in, we've got to health check them. We've done the others. And uh, by then we'll have been with you about a four and a half hours. I think three and a half now. So it'll probably take us an hour to get through this little group. I'm just going to pop over and see Maisie, who's meeting a friend. So give me a moment. We'll be right back. No, it was the second when I came over she did it. Maybe done a dash for the day. Oh. <laughs> That's I think what we should do is set a time aside when we can just spend time with Maisie when we're not live streaming and we can do it then. And that would help. Oh, okay, so question. Thought it was funny. What kind of antihistamine should I take? My arm is getting worse, the swollen and red. Kids. What did you get bitten by? I thought it was funny. Uh, 
and it's been more than 24 hours since. Is it itchy? Is it itchy? Let's wait for you to answer. So you've got, I don't know, is, is that you don't know what bit you? No. Uh, so it's itchy, yes. Itchy, red, swollen, warm, growing, yeah. I would take Telfast or um, there's quite a few different brands. You get them over the, out, over the counter at a chemist or a pharmacist. Um, just ask for an antihistamine. They last for 24 hours. So you only take one, it gets into the system. They're very, very effective. Yeah. Um, the, where, um, you know, if you had said it was a snake bite, I'd say go to the hospital. But something like a bee or an insect um, and it's over 24 hours means that it's not anaphylaxis. So you're not at risk of having any breathing issues or anything like that particularly if it's on like an arm or a limb, that means it's localized to that area. You can see, see the little bite that I had here. I don't know whether you can make that out in the sun or not. Maybe, maybe, is that better? So it was like a little nip. You can see front tooth, rear tooth here and here, but see the redness around it? It just slightly got the top layer of the skin there. It didn't break through, it didn't bleed or anything like that. But um, with a bite wound, um, what they typically do is outline put a mark around it you can do that now i thought it was funny so here we go i'm drawing myself guys <laughs> so wound what you do is you draw around the edge of the red there it is you draw around the edge of the red can you see that and the light's playing up a bit so we're getting later in the day can you see that maybe see how i've got that so you draw around the edge of the red area on a bite wound and then in the hours following that, you can see how much it's growing and continuing to spread. Anything that has a um, a line that goes from a wound direct up an arm, like from here, that tracks up your arm, you definitely do need to get attention with that because um, it means it's in sort of a vein or an atrial area of some sort, something like that. Um, yeah. But I would definitely get an antihistamine from a chemist, take that. It's a 24-hour thing. It will take the itchiness away, take the redness away, let it settle down. Yeah. And draw a line around it now. Write down the time. You can actually write the time on there. The time and the line. And then you can see if it's growing or changing. Yeah. And you can actually see the rate of rate of infection. Um, yeah, that way. But once you take the antihistamine, it will slow that down. There's so many different brands of it. Just go to your pharmacist. They'll have one, but they are a 24-hour tablet. So that'll be really good. Oop. I can't answer that right now. Just let that go. Hold on, sorry. It'll ring out everyone. Hold on, hold on. There we go. I need to put that one to silent. Right. Let's do these piggies. We've got five piggies that have come back in. We just need to check and treat them, see what needs to be done. So I'm going to bring you down here. What's that going on?
Do you know the age of these piggies? Did they mention? Okay. They all came, they were adopted from here. You're gorgeous. Look at you, little cutie. You're really good. You are cute. Okay. They look they really good. Exactly sure, yeah. Um, but between two and four. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, she's a cutie, isn't she? she? Is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's either stuck on the foot or you need to put those. They're all going to have baths, but not today. But no. look at that. Just want to make sure that's stuck on your foot, little girl. No, no, no. When she goes in the bath, it'll be done. Just want to. Remember, I had to do that before work. That's right, yeah. Right up to her feet. There's a big lump. Oh, yeah, that's just stuck on there. Good girl, I know. Okay, I'm going to have to do something with that. I just looked over at the cage of the older girls. Mm -hmm. One of them's up on top of the Heidi. Yeah. Oh. It's beautiful time, isn't it? Yeah. It is a beautiful time of day. They, I don't think they've had them the three years. I think they adopted them only about. They said maybe, more than a year. Year ago, maybe, maybe a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I swear to pie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just got a bit there. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. I'm just going to get you some pie from that coal and get a idea of what we're going to do with them all. Oh yeah, yeah the whole family, they're beautiful family, really beautiful family when they came up. It's, uh, yeah, and they each chose one. Yeah. Yeah. We had um, someone coming for the cage today. Did anyone mention that? The wooden cage? One of them did. Because that's here for them. Did they not get it? Was that the family that needed everything? Well, maybe, maybe it was. I'm not sure. I didn't think to mention at the time could have been them 
Because he only had the big cage around there. Mm. 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 Because then surely they would have said something. Maybe not. Um, yeah, I might. I'll give her a call and find out. Maybe hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, well, they they were going to get an inside as well. Oh, they were doing both. Yeah. So. They might have got oh, the inside one because they were looking. We may have done that. And then we'll, we'll get the outside. You yeah, know, it wasn't them because they had the, they're the ones that had the drink bottle and it was already done. It was a hard edge. Oh right. So it wasn't, it wasn't them. There. No. Because I think that's their inside cage. They wanted an outside one. Right. So I'll find out later. That's all right. We will find out. Cage won't go off. No, no, it's all boxed. It's brand new. Missy, 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 Moo, look at this one. Hold on. Okay. So there's a little poopy covered foot there as well. So these piggies need to get a bit of a bath happening. Let me get this out of the mechanism, which we'll do. I think that's what's happened. Their cages have obviously got poop on some feet. Yeah. A bit stuck. <laughs> so maybe it's getting a bit hard. What have you got down here? Yeah, she's got the daggy mind. bits. <laughs> Come on, you missy. It's all right. We'll fix that right now. Yeah. Let's check everything out. So really, bathing is in order. That's the next thing. But we'll do that. I'm not going to do it now because that's going to the end of the day. We'll just get them settled and in. We'll do it tomorrow. Maisie's going home by herself. Well, not unless you find another one or you want to um, leave it till later. We'll, see. we'll just finish on here and then we'll, we'll chat. Okay. I'm just wondering if she's all um, socialed out. I don't think so. She's only met the white one, hasn't she? Yes. Okay. That's not a lot. <laughs> Okay, let's do your little thing here. There we go. Put her little ratty tail here. Let's get rid of that hay. Just find out where it comes from. And let's get through it. It can be without that hay. Any further? There we go. Pick that up. Good girl. Good up. Yeah, not just sit there, not just. Give it a little trim around there. Oh, I've got you. And the lucky last. This is the last little one. She's Peachy size. I remember these. They were all babies, I think. I think you were. I think you were only little. Here is a pretty good little one. Wait a minute. Good girl. Good. Okay, all done. A little bath tomorrow. There we go. They are all finished. So, there we go. I went for a bike ride.
Awesome. Okay. Oh, thank you. I thought it was funny. Yeah. I don't understand how much responsibility. It's huge. Yeah. A lot don't. But, you know, it's, you do what you do. We catch up on the stream down here. I think I have. Okay, well, I think we have finished for today. Um, hopefully, we've updated everyone with what's been going on. If you have any questions later on, I can't get in the middle, can I? How do I do that? Is that better? Okay, if you have any questions later on, certainly drop that down in the chat. Or if you're watching this later on, drop it down in the chat and um, I come back through and we'll answer. I've got a lot of comments on there actually I need to answer, so I will get that done soon. Um, but in the meantime, stay safe and stay well, and thank you for joining us here with what we've been doing today. Um, thank you to all the, the admins online who've been helping and who are there today, and thank you, Suzanne, who's over there, waving to everyone for being here today, and um, we will be back soon. Okay, please click like so this can be shared out and we'll see you again real soon. Take care everyone and bye for now. Not even sure how to end it right now. The end button's gone guys. <laughs> I can't see it. <sighs> Let's see what I can do. There we go. I found it. So see you later, everyone. Bye for now.